you, you've heard of the term situation ship. I've taken it and, and made it something different. The situation ships that we find ourselves in have the power to cause us to shift our perspective, either for good or for bad. When we shift for good, we've taken accountability of what we've been through, how we've been hurt, unhealed trauma, that causes us to shift in consciousness. So situation shifts can be very beneficial, right? If you're learning. Most people do not enter a relationship to find out what's wrong with themselves. Most people are looking for relationships to bring ease, and peace, but that is only half of the coin. You're a co-creator of this relationship experience you're currently in, and that's why a situation shift has a silver lining. Hello, I'm Gunnery Sergeant Stanton Bill, United States Marine Corps retired the creator of Bill Hot Sauce. We offer free delicious hot sauces guaranteed to enhance any meal. We invite you to get your rank up by grabbing a bottle or three today. And remember, if it ain't Bill, it ain't real. Don't be this guy. Raise your drive and libido. It's time to man up with X-Wolf. Boost your testosterone levels to help decrease your body fat percentage and increase lean muscle mass gains. Boost your stamina and blood flow for those tough workouts. And these workouts also Go to xlabsubs.com to find out more. What's happening? Yeah. Kevin and um, TTT are on the way or either downstairs parking or they doing something. So this is a community empowerment segment. Man, the world, like we've been saying, before I even get into that, Total package energy. Let's just, let's, let's do what we got to do. Last day of the month, last day of Black History Month, the minister, I watched the swan song, every bit of it. What's I got to do with total package energy? Every. What's I got to do with anything we put in front of you? Everything. That brother said he is rushing towards 90. Brother minister. And you don't have to agree. Like, that's our problem. White folk, the motherfucking Ukrainians agreed that niggas can't leave. In the midst of a war with one of the two biggest nuclear powers, yeah. right? Yeah. In the world. It's America number one. Then it's Russia. Yeah. But them Ukrainians agree, niggas stay over there. And yeah. I don't care what type nigga you is. Yeah. Stay over there. How's all of this tying into the minister's swan song? Total package energy. They got B12, they got pea protein, they've got their classic energy shot. Please go to TotalPackageEnergy.com and buy out their entire inventory. Support this brand until the wheels fall completely off. 
Also, X Wolf. You saw the X Wolf video. I talked to this brother. Good brother, solid brother. And I think we should support his brand. Number one, it's a functional brand. I use it, it's been good to me, right? I use it. Why don't you? How much money do you spend at Starbucks? How much money do you spend at white businesses? How much money do you spend for, you know, company or spend at companies that are not owned by your own people? And that don't fuck with you. That don't fuck with you. You got to hear a little side story about Hermes saying, Oprah, right. get your fat chicken and waffle eating ass out of here. You got to hear those kind of stories, right? You got to hear somebody high up at Louis Vuitton saying, if you don't get your coon. Now, see, white people hate you because they're envious of you. Mm -hmm. They're envious of what you are. Mm -hmm. They're envious of who you are. They know your history better than you know your history. There's a reason why Europe called Spain Southern Europe. Oh, you wanted them Southern Europeans. Mm. There's a reason why they use that terminology. Southern European. Yeah. You know why? Because those Southern Europeans weren't considered Nordics or Germanic people. A little browner. You, you brown because you're closer to the continent. Bong, bong. And the Moors came in and seeded all of your royal families. All of that. So the other parts of Europe would call Spain Southern Europeans, mm -hmm. and they would say it in a negative connotation. See, see, white people hate you out of envy. Black people hate you because white people hate you. Wow. Now, that's the conditioning. See, your brothers hate you because the white man created a climate and a society that calls for competition amongst the have-nots. Mm. That's just what it is. That's just what the fuck it is. So when I, it's easy for you to ignore a black owned business. It's easy for you to ignore, uh, what, huh? You just come in talking. It's been seven years. Just can't quietly sit the fuck down. Oh, he's doing promos. Hey, what is that, some cake? It's perfect time to talk. But then, oh. Let me just do this. And for all you motherfuckers who be coming in here defending him. <laughs> they defend me? They defend you. Oh, yeah, they, they, do. Should, they supposed to. Yeah, they do. Oh, it's childish. It's, you guys, <laughs> it's so much. Listen to the jewels. Being drunk. Being drunk. <laughs> this is our friend. This is our brother. All right. You over there having a motherfucking conniption about what happened to your ass in the eighth grade because we in here fucking with Hassan. Let us fuck with Hassan because we all good. You having a flashback. I mean, it's, just, it's just sophomoric and immature. But was the content that was elevating that way? Just like us. <laughs> he just like he with us. <laughs> God damn it. So like I was saying. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> when a man buys, let's let's talk about it. Let's get into this right now. Because this is what the community empowerment is about. When a man buys. Name a high-end suit. Now, there's levels to high-end haberdashery. There's levels to it. But name a high-end suit. Armani. Armani. Tommy Hilfiger. Armani. Hugo Boss. Hugo Boss. It's good shit, right? Mm -hmm. Now, there's levels to the haberdashery. You can say, fuck your brands and your name and get that cold tailor oh. and put your name. That's why I got stuck. Yeah. 
Yeah, right there, bow, bow. Yeah, on the Joker side of the game. This yeah, nigga got is. on Taylor purple and green, nigga. No, no, That's no, what no. I'm saying. You get on the Tom Ford, all that other shit, off the rack, right? But what people in the fashion industry have figured out, do you know your clothes give you self-esteem? Come on, man. Psychological. They understand a well-dressed motherfucker has a different level of confidence. Somebody said Brooks Brothers, Tom Ford, right? Mm -hmm. A well-dressed motherfucker gets treated different. <clears throat> Go into a motherfucking bank with what I got on, a hoodie, sweats, <laughs> and a motherfucking yep. bait. They be like, <laughs> the fuck this nigga here for? Caucasian can wear that. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> but my uncle told me, he was like, hey, when you put that suit on, it gives them a different mindset. It, it, it projects a different energy, right? Mm -hmm. But that's the energy of how they do business. Yeah. And I'm not advocating for suits. What I'm actually saying is, and I want y'all to listen very carefully, if your self-esteem is coming from your jacket, you a whole ass nigga. He's a whole ass nigga. <laughs> if the meaning of who you are is attributed to the type of shoe you got on your foot, use a whole ass nigga. Use a whole ass nigga. And this is how you get used in the system that's based on materialism and products. Yeah. You a whole ass nigga. You see, a lot of people, no, no, niggas don't really want to hear this, right? See, they, products is what moves consumerism, mm -hmm. materialism. You're a walking billboard. Yep. <laughs> you get it? You a whole ass nigga if what defines you is what you got. Yes, man. So the bitch don't really fuck with you, she fuck with the whip. Come on. She fuck with the drip. And she fucks with the clip. Somebody mean it. She fuck with the whip, the drip, and the clip. She not fucking with you, cause you not fucking with you. <laughs> oh, hell no. Nah. You not fucking with you, so ain't no way she gonna fuck with you. She gotta fuck with what you do and what you have. It's rare that niggas come into a woman's life and presence alone feeds her like the fountain of youth. It's rare. She'd be like, nigga, what are you doing? You better get your bitch ass out there and do, nigga. You can't be in my presence and do nothing or have nothing. Perfect reflection of a materialistic society, right? Yeah. So then we look at total package energy and go, I don't see the GNC label. The GNC label. Huh? Should have, G this is a GNC, right? <laughs> no, nigga, it's on the internet. Right. The same place you bought your couch. Oh, no, no. Huh? Amazon. Oh, yeah, Amazon. <laughs> Black owned business. No, 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 what's the name brand P protein? Protein. This off, this off brand. Right. This is this black pea protein. It might be beige or brown or some shit. B I, protein. This might be B protein. I don't know what the fuck this is. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Motherfucker get mad because you getting checked about how now more than ever, and we've been saying this shit since the Zoa show started in 20 goddamn 12. Niggas need to come together. Niggas need to work together. Niggas need to. Niggas need to do. Niggas need to. 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 Oh, the stop saying nigga, cause you know I can't listen to anything you say after nigga. Oh my man, I'm bad, bro. Then they say, don't argue with the motherfuckers that's arguing. Don't you realize arguing with the motherfuckers that's arguing is a jump off for me to get into more information. I highlight the fuck shit. That's a jump off for me to talk more. That I, you don't highlight it. Why not? Isn't that one of our problems? 
Should we not address the problem? You got a man rushing towards his fucking 90s who's done this work, who spoke last night and still got the fire. But the problem is you got to look at it this way. Why he got to work so hard rushing towards 90? Why he still got to carry the torch still. and the flame? That means we ain't changed. And everybody, and niggas always got an opinion about other niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Them white folk came together in the Ukraine. Hey, niggers, African, African-American, pro basketball players. I don't give a fuck who you are, niggers. To the back. <laughs> like that was All said. these white folk yeah. in front, you yeah. niggers. Yeah. That was said? Get on the train. Yeah. Yeah. So... While you talking about, oh, this nigga broke, and this nigga ain't that, and this nigga, uh, this nigga whole ass nigga, and this nigga ain't doing this, not knowing shit about none of it, but just got an opinion about another brother. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, fuck them niggas then. I That's, but see, this is the word I'm, I'm saying. Nigga, we gonna get into this shit today, yes. but this is about the community empowerment. It's so important. You didn't know that? <laughs> no, no, no. no, 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 no. We ain't even got some stories yet. They're going to talk okay, about it later, but okay, yeah, they've been doing that oh, shit. Oh, wow. Wow. They've right? been stopping. I had sympathy, but okay. I'm right. just saying. Get your ass off the bus, nigga. Huh? What? No, no, let's not get into it yet. We still community environment. Okay. Thing, man. About to charge up this empowerment. But see, that's why I'm charging up the empowerment. Yeah. Because again, the world hates you, and you hate you. Mm, okay, I see the point. I get your point. Now. The world hates you, and you hate you. And we got a motherfucking godsend. And, and like I said, I learned from everybody. Alfred Korzybski. You don't even know who that is, huh? Oh, yeah. Or uh, Big Al, Alfred Korzybski, <laughs> Dr. David Hawkins, Joan Bori Singo. I read everybody's shit. Krishnamurti, Robert Anton Wills. I don't give a fuck. I'm reading and learning everybody's shit. But guess what? I still respect Farrakhan. 100%. Cleaned up black men and women, buttressed black families, implemented an ideology that teaches you how to build a community, mm -hmm. feed a community. I don't care about the ideology. I don't give a fuck. I can sit down and argue with Muslims, speaking Arabic, speaking English, speaking Hebrew. I, I can do that. That don't matter. What matters is <clears throat> I created a product called a newspaper and a bean pie, hey, and I built yeah. a motherfucking bean fortress. Pie, I built a goddamn dynasty and empire. Yeah. Yeah. And that goes back to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. You got to give those brothers pro props yeah. for building. Yeah. Yeah. Do you understand? That's it. Building. Outcome. We built. Whatever the fucking idea was, I don't give a fuck what, nigga, we could have been worshiping rocks, nigga. There's a certain rock that is located in Eaton Canyon, <laughs> in, in Pasadena, California. Yes. It's not quite all the way up the mountain. It's halfway up the mountain. There you will be buttressed by <laughs> uh, the California black bear and the puma as yeah. As well as yeah. the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake, they will challenge you in your quest yeah, to find yeah, said will. rock. But this is a very <laughs> spiritual rock. We could have worshipped rocks! Yeah, yeah. For the old school niggas, um shalagoon shak shak. Um shalagoon shak shak. It don't matter what the fuck the belief is. It's about unifying around the belief. Yeah. The belief is total package energy doesn't survive without black folk. Right? We juice, 
doesn't survive without black folk. X Wolf doesn't survive without black folk. Beal sauce. Beal sauce. Doesn't is, survive without black folk. Just good as hell on some potato chips and some barbecue <laughs> potato chips. Beal sauce is the deal sauce. Ah. Now, <laughs> now, now, guess what's happening? You look at the Ukraine and you look at Russia. Their money system's fucked up right now. See, you put so much emphasis in that goddamn dollar. Nigga, don't you know they can put the dollar on the bench? Yep. They can sit the dollar on the bench. Like yep. nothing. Hey, dollar, get your ass on the bench. They can do that. If they can give it away last year or two years ago, they can cut it off. So all this self-esteem you got wrapped up in a fiat currency can get benched. And Your you, definition of manhood is wrapped around a wallet with fiat yeah. currency in it that's on the precipice of something. Yep. Okay. Come on, man. Come on, man. All right. All right. <clears throat> so it's 2022, and Zoe is talking to you in a passionate way about some shit that he done talked to you about before. Ten years. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, <laughs> Shepherd Sweets. This is Yaz. Yes, and yes. Okay. Yes, and yes. She back at it. Listen, man. Shepherdsweets.com. What up, Yaz? She still got the motherfucking sweet potato cake. Yeah. You oh. can't have that shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, I need a sweet potato cake. I'm going to holler at you. I need a sweet potato cake. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you what she did. It's fucked up. It was fucked up to me. I was disappointed. What? Cause she used me. <laughs> you me. Anyway, you just talked about black unity and networking. I love that. She pissed me off though. She, she pissed me off. What up? She used me. What up? This how she used me, and it didn't dawn on me until one of the niggas at the lounge brought it to my attention. So about a, about two or three months ago, I said, "Hey, yes, how much does it cost for a motherfucking uh, sweet potato cake?" I want to take this shit to the lounge. She charged me. I said, you charge him. <laughs> me? <laughs> me? Me? She charged me, man. It was a pretty nice piece for that. I mean, OK, labor. Get your, get your money, yeah. All right, fuck yep. it. Get I'll your pay. money, girl. I'll pay for it, Here you go. I took the motherfucking cake to the lounge. Wait a minute. The sweet potato cake. I hope you sold slices. I didn't sell shit. I just took it to the lounge, gave it to the lounge. That shit is so good. With the motherfucking, uh, what's that fucking, what's that uh, Philly cream cheese oh, icing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shit dumb as fuck, oh, man. Goodness. So I took it over there. The motherfuckers ate it in 15 minutes. Man, a whole ridiculous. Case. Ridiculous. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. So then, out the blue, it didn't dawn on me. One day, she was like, did they like the cake? I was like, they ate that shit in 15 minutes. She was like, all right, I'm, I'm going to make another one for them. And I didn't think about it. I was like, all right, cool. So she made the cake, called me, said, hey, it's done. You can bring it over there. I take it over there. And then one of the homies, he, he said, nigga, this is one of the best cakes I've ever had. Ridiculous. I said, yeah, man. <laughs> My son and daughter's mom made this for y'all. Oh, mom. Just on GP. And she didn't charge y'all for it. He said, but didn't she charge you for the last one? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. You gave away a free cake, but you charged me. <laughs> oh, I was heated. The networking, baby, that. networking. <laughs> the motherfuckers ate that cake in five, ten minutes. Hey, the drug dealer give you a free sack, my nigga. Hey. So she got all types. <laughs> you guys remember Shepherd Sweets? She got all types of candies and all types of shit, man. Cakes, confections. Just visit her website, and I'm doing this for her, for free. You know why? <clears throat> That's the mother of my two children, my two oldest. That's a ride, nigga. She did some great work with them motherfucking kids. Yeah, She's a teacher. She taught these motherfuckers how to read, how to count. <laughs> Before they even stepped into school, reading, counting, yeah. Yeah. talking shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All in the same hey. <laughs> She tried to check me on. She tried to check me on the shit talking they was doing as kids. I said, "Listen, they Sagittarius. 
Hey, you can't blunt that. Inspired. You got two Sagittarius kids. You can't blunt that shit talking now. Uh, in yeah. hindsight, and I mean, both like, of them yeah, raging each other's fire up too. Yeah. <laughs> <they're both laughs> Woo. Really yeah. They talk shit, shit. What the fuck you mean? Especially, fuck you. Especially <laughs> Prima. Especially Prima. Prima's different. <laughs> Prima. Did. But I'm just saying, she did her motherfucking job, and today I'm giving her her flowers <laughs> by promoting her business. ShepherdSweets.com. Y'all support, 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 support all of these businesses. So uh, we got to talk about Hurricane Report mm -hmm. because the Hurricane Report is providing a lot of the social commentary about what's going on in the world right now mm -hmm. that we use on this show. So write it, take action, maintain freedom. Go to h-report. Dot news. Support, 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 <laughs> support, 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 support. <laughs> and of course, where your self-esteem should be coming from is motherfucking Ramomar. That bag, my nigga. Huh? Is that Carrie Hilson? Yeah. Looking yeah. like a cold glass <laughs> of lemonade on the Nile. That bag right there, my nigga. In the mm. name of sweet baby Ray's barbecue. Yeah, that should go with my Put top it today, oh, yeah. Yeah. Put it up there by herself. Yeah. Put it up there by herself. Ooh. Hey. Carrie is so very. Mm. Come on. Beautiful self. Ram Omar. <laughs> you in the dig? Somebody said ramomarny.com. Promoting him for free. Ram Omar. <laughs> black owned businesses. What is the purpose of a black owned business if it ain't got black customers? Yeah. If black customers get all their self esteem from white products, what does that make the black customer? A mind controlled idiot. <laughs> Pretty much. I fuck with that. A black motherfucker in white face. Ooh. What? Oreo. Or easy. An inverted Oreo. You chocolate on the inside and white on the outside, nigga. An albino Oreo. It's a whole new brand of Oreo, nigga. God damn. You black on the inside and you hide your blackness by your by your white brands that you wear. And I'm going to even bring this up, too. Will Smith's son is speaking a, about it in a different way. He's talking about consumerism Which one? and Which consumption. One? Will Smith's son. The youngest one? Uh, uh, not the oldest. Jalen? Oh. Jaden. 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 He's talking about how, uh, again, consumption, mass consumption, consumerism is leading to, you know, all types of negative effects in the world. Mm -hmm whether it be uh, uh, greenhouse effects, whether it be uh, the impact on the oceans, mm -hmm. plastics, all types of shit. And he's talking about scaling back, yeah. right? Buying things that have higher quality mm -hmm. that will last longer, longer mm -hmm. so you don't have to buy as much. Right. So again, we're living, okay, when I get into these stories today, y'all really gonna see that, you know, the fuck shit gotta stop today. The whole shit that we have been on gotta stop but it's today. Not, it's our condition though. We have been conditioned to be Are you making excuses for niggas? No, I'm not, but I'm just saying, okay. So okay, what, okay, what so I'm the saying- the purpose of what you're saying is? People need to be, have to take, be enlightened by what's been going on. Cause okay. even when I start making juices, right? Uh -huh. I will go in the store and I'll look at apples and they'll cost a dollar. I'm like, this, that's expensive. I thought this nigga was gonna say the apple talked to him. <laughs> <laughs> but then I had to check myself because I go to another store. Oh, that dollar is too expensive. Let me go to another store. Mm -hmm. Dollars, the uh, apples maybe 89 cents. Mm -hmm. But we go buy jeans that cost $100 and we don't bat an eye, but we look at fruits and vegetables that cost a dollar and we're like, oh, that's expensive. So we have to change the way we think. So it made me change the way I thought about right. certain things. Right. And, 
people are the same way. Well, it's just that the jeans took 100 of the dollars that you had, <coughs> so now that motherfucking apple can't cost a dollar. That bitch better cost 35. Right. See, that's, that's, what, that's what it is. is. <laughs> You ain't got I the rest of all the my shit right. in these jeans. I ain't got the rest of the money for this right. damn apple. Right. I got these hoard ass jeans. Right. Right. These assoons. <laughs> these <laughs> beat out assoons. Got these beat out assoons. <laughs> cost two hundred dollars. Now I got four dollars. <laughs> One of these apples better cost thirty five cents. Right, That's what you got left. So right. I understand what the problem is. But people rather buy clothes and feed themselves the proper way. Right. You know. Somebody said, who buys $100 jeans? Somebody's probably saying them jeans are cheap as fuck. They only cost $100. Right. Well, <laughs> seriously. Uh, well, if you don't eat from Benadryl. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Sarah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's timely. <laughs> what you don't eat can fit into the jeans. <laughs> <laughs> This nigga crazy. <laughs> Apple bottles. <laughs> <laughs> so again, world is changing. I need everybody to support all of the black-owned businesses that I have put in front of you. Shit. I done, I done got motherfucking gun shy, nigga. Sarah didn't stupid, even tell nigga. people to go get my book. Because Fuck. motherfuckers is really... Mm -mm. You know, motherfuckers... Go get the goddamn book. Go and what's book. crazy is... What's crazy is... Sometimes it takes me a long time to write. Uh, the, the relationship dismount came 10 years after the rebirth of seeds. Mm. Because I don't write unless there's an idea. And what's crazy is God has given me another idea Boom. for the next book. And I've already started the work, the framework of building out the next book. Y'all need to understand <coughs> something about my process as a writer. I don't just be writing. You got some writers who write down everything, right. who are inspired by all kinds of shit, and the writing right, right. is endless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't write that way. Right, right. When I'm done with a project, I'll be thinking, well, that's it. Yep. Well, um, well what am I going to do next? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You're an inspirational yep. writer. Right. I got to be inspired by yeah. something, right? Yeah. And, you know, uh, the sister, she's 70 years old. She's such a sweetheart. She's down in North Carolina. Her name is Carolyn. You see her name in my book. She said, okay, Shroud of Lighthouse number two. Let's go. Chop, chop. <laughs> she said this about two months ago. I said, listen, I, I, I ain't got it. I, yeah. <laughs> it ain't here yet. Sh shit is done. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm done. Right. Yeah. She was like, no, no, mm. no, no. You're not done. God already told me. You got divine providence. She'd be praying over a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. like, Hold on, stop, stop, stop talking when I got to pray. Because that shit you just said, you know, she does that kind of stuff. Better have to tell that nigga hit me direct then, because I ain't got it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I told her, I, I ain't got it. I, <laughs> I, tell that nigga, hit me I ain't direct. there. <laughs> but she was right. Last Wednesday, mm -hmm. <laughs> it was like a sniper hit. <laughs> pew! I fell out on the motherfucking couch in the cigar lounge. Oh, shit. <laughs> the idea came, and now I've That's already Wednesday? started the whole process of building out the next book. Yeah. When I tell you what this concept, okay, all right, fuck it. Mm -hmm. The Shrouded Lighthouse is available. Uh, support it. Go get it. I don't. I, You've heard about it. People have been reading it. People have been talking about it. You've heard about it. I, I don't know what else to say. Uh, just support the Shrouded Lighthouse. Go to theshroudedlighthouse.com. Anybody who gets one, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Kev, what do you have? Oh, man. Popo. <coughs> Popo. Popo in your ass. Get them off your ass. <laughs> Popo in your ass. Popo in your ass. Get them off your ass. Poo poo is in your way. Poke in your hole. Get him off your ass. Get him off your way. It's the popo off your ass kit. Ah. <laughs> Otherwise, no. That's <laughs> the police stop law package. Popo right here, you got the constitutional kid. rights guard, all your rights that <clears throat> you want to tell the police officer at the police stop, and also what would happen to them if they violate your constitutional rights. This is so you don't have to talk to police, because you should never, ever, ever talk to police. Always believe that. Lawyers will tell you all the time, never ever talk to police. 
But then, if they still commence to violating your constitutional rights, usually when they do that, they, they get qualified immunity, which is the type of armor that the Supreme Court gave them for when they violate your rights and they didn't know they did it. But if you warn them, if you alert them that they're in danger of violating your rights before they do it and you get them on camera doing it, then you got them because there's a Supreme Court case that says if they knowingly violate your constitutional rights, they lose the qualified immunity. And they actually, Sarah. in a couple of cases recently, Sarah. police officers have been lo losing qualified immunity. So it's being smashed all over the country right now. So this right here lets them know that they lose that qualified immunity. Right here is the, is the qualified immunity notice, has all the court cases that lets them know that this is real. You're not bullshitting. So you hand them this. This is what you keep in your car for when the police officers pull you over. You hand them this and shut the hell up. With my badge. Man, I forgot it. <laughs> I forgot it. I forgot the chest plate, but he's talking about the vaccine religious exemption card. We have that too. <laughs> I forgot it, my nigga. I have one in the car. <laughs> but uh, right here, I go get it. <laughs> right here is the Know Your Rights manual. This has all the basic laws you want to know at traffic stops and Terry stops, which are traffic stops or police stops on foot. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is what you want to know. This is what you want to arm your children with, so that they, you know, they're better prepared when the police officers come up to them, because ninety percent of police stops. Uh, Basically, they violate your rights right upon the, the on contact. So if you know how to talk to a police officer when they walk up to you, boom, you got them. Ninety percent. But what of if the them niggas don't want to talk? They don't have to talk. If you if, what if they want to fight? If a police <laughs> officer, if you if you have not committed any crime, oh sorry, if you have not committed any crime and a police officer cannot articulate that you that he suspects you or she suspects you of committing a crime, about to commit a crime, or having or <clears throat> excuse me, or having committed a crime. You don't have to talk to a police officer. It's called reasonable suspicion. They have to prove that they have some type of reasonable, articulable suspicion that you're about to do something wrong. If they can't tell you what they, what they believe you're about to do wrong, you don't have to say, say anything to a police officer. But most of you don't know that. I just saw a video where the popo walked up on the dude and grabbed him and said, come here, son, and just start patting him up before he even knew anything. Wow. Patting him up. He said, what I do, officer? He just start patting him down. Didn't, didn't tell the dude anything. Luckily, but this is funny shit, because the officer, he said, yeah, what I do, officer, what I do, officer, <laughs> boom, he took off. <laughs> he took, and he got away. I love it. <laughs> oh, I thought you said that nigga was about to, he got slapped. No, that nigga took off and got away. Nigga, he took, he got yeah, around. He got slapped. Oh, no, he got around the corner, oh, nigga, he hit in the seventh gear, he was out. <laughs> but but y'all don't do that. You need to know your rights. He wouldn't have <clears> had to do that if he knew the police officers had to prove that he did something wrong, or he, they suspected him of about to do something wrong. So, right here, this book lets you know that. Then, if they do... Always violate your rights. They have police insurance or police public official bonds. And this has been getting crazy for the last couple of months because these Caucasian people have been out there placing bond liens on uh, superintendents and, and uh, school board members all across the country and getting these mask mandates taken down. So this is really a big thing right now. So this you can place liens on public officials, including officers, not just school board members. Right here is the book that lets you know how to do that. It gives you all the laws. Uh, all the bond laws within the states to show you how to do that. And right here is the police stop flashcards. This is the cliff notes, which you want to study with your kids, because I know they don't want to read a big ass book. But right here, this is the main stuff that they should know <laughs> at a police stop. You can just throw them the cards, have them read this about 30 minutes a day, every other day, and then they'll be prepared. Because they, the kids are telling you right now, they are the most preyed upon because they look old. <clears throat> excuse me, they look old and uh, they know that they don't know the right. They, they know that police officers know they don't know their rights. So they're much easier to take over, take down. Thank you, Zoe. Give me some, give me some theme music. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> <Give me, laughs> you got theme music for me? It's an accent. I'm trying to turn the motherfucker off. Yeah, John. <laughs> You've been here for 12 years, and so, you still got that noise going? <laughs> and we also have it in Spanish. I didn't put it up on the, on the, on the website yet, but this is in Spanish. You speak Spanish yeah, I, hey, <laughs> Somebody do. <laughs> Whoever made this did. <laughs> Whoever made this did. So we got police stop flashcards in Spanish. This is the, I mean, uh, the uh, Know Your Rights Manual in Spanish and the Public Official Bonds book in Spanish. All of this will be on the website this week. And you get it all for free if you order the Great Book of Melanin Research. That's or if you just want the package, just go to knowyourrightsfoundation.org. But right here, I, ho I know you heard that the, the melanin in the microchips, then they're talking about how they're taking melanin and putting it in all type of electronics because how it holds on to, <coughs> excuse me, holds on to electrons and photons mm -hmm. and converts it to power and energy in mm -hmm. other different ways. That's your skin. The melanin. That's your goddamn skin. <laughs> you can do that, and it tells you how you can do that right here. RealNoggers.com if you want that. KnowYourRightsFoundation.org if you want all the other stuff. But I, I told you to change it from melanin to helenin. 
Well, we need to raise hell. <laughs> we need to raise hell. <laughs> hey, they out, they, they out there mashing. There's a Caucasian dude who got a video talking about, man, I'm telling you, hey, guys, there's out there's something out there is called. Is it the motherfucker with the afro that be painting? No, no, no. This, this is a no. This is a country nigga with a country <laughs> nigga with a white <laughs> white hat. He like, there, there's something out there called melanin. I'm telling you, melanin. It's a polymer. It's a polymer, and, and it, it's responsible for color and everything, and dogs and black dogs and cats. And he, this motherfucker's talking. Like, <laughs> he called melanin. it melanin. melanin, and then he says it's worth more than gold and platinum on the on the stock market. It's four hundred and thirty something gra- dollars a gram. I mean, he breaking his old shit off. Listen, listen, what? Listen, yes, listen, melanin is worth what? more than stock market. More, more, more than gold and, and platinum on the stock market. Oh, listen shit. here, Ryan. <laughs> Paint from your heart. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you the video. I hey. that. And of course, Timmy Tight Top. Timmy Tight Top. 10,000 push ups. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> ice lift. 10,000 push ups. Saloon door. Molecular levels. Molecular. Molecular levels. You guys are silly. Hey, uh, Weed Juice is about self love, okay? Self improvement. <laughs> Here we go. It's about self love. It's always about self love <laughs> when it comes to being healthy. Working out, positive information, eating healthy, self-love, you know, work on your chakras. Not about buying stuff, it's working on your chakras and self-love, you know. Chakras. Chakras, Chakras, I mean. But anyway, um, when it comes to health, you need to eat foods that's anti-inflammatory. Celery, turmeric, okay. Vitamin orange chicken. These are the guidelines for you guys. Vitamin orange chicken, which is vitamin orange chicken. You guys know it. So juice of the day is strawberry lemonade, high in vitamin orange chicken, okay? Stuffed with anti-inflammatory celery. This is Sarah's, one of Sarah's favorite juice, sweet lemon. That's our detox Monday juice special, okay? Sweet lemon. So it's about eating healthy. It's about supporting weed juice. I want to thank one of the sisters out here that came from Houston. She's out here. And she bought three day cleanse from me. Mm-hmm. She's living down in Torrance. Then she mm-hmm. bought the weight loss program from me. So she's been doing the stuff while she's here. She texts me, let me know that she's here, and I delivered sure. her in Torrance. So she's been buying. Her name is Maisha Jackson. I want to support her and thank her. That's my last name. Maisha? Maisha Jackson. my cousin. Stop, Sarah. <laughs> That's my last name. Is that Maisha? That's my cousin. <laughs> Oh yes. <laughs> she, as Zoe always says, it's about us supporting us. Oh, it's the goodness. truth. We have to support us. We have to build <laughs> ourselves back. You know. Anyway, thank you for the support. We just boom. Yeah. Yeah. Make it simple. You know. Dom. Dom. I didn't mess up today. What are you talking about? You man? didn't mess up today. You master and you navigating that missing tooth, and that's good. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you navigating that missing tooth? Like he's navigating around. <laughs> this nigga Silver Surfer in that bitch. I'm just saying, air pockets and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you done mastered the word. Nigga, the turbulence. I mean, nigga, the turbulence. <laughs> I'm just saying, there's more funny? air in the nigga mouth because the tooth missing. The and in the beginning, he had to learn how to navigate <laughs> the wind gusts. <laughs> 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 Extra don't, don't, wind, don't worry, spit, passengers. all types of shit happening. <laughs> don't worry, passengers, who just hit a pocket. <laughs> now the motherfucker's good. He know how to do this shit now. <laughs> This is another week. It'll be a good. <laughs> Shut up. So, uh, uh, let me do this real quick. Uh, Dom, do you have anything to uh, promote? Hey, man, eat right. Say, say you don't catch a heart attack out this motherfucker. That's Love what I'm that. promoting. And then there's that. Yeah. Self love. Because you know I'm alive, so. Bye. Hey, you know, I've been detoxing, man. There it is. There it is. You know, I jumped back on, started today. I jumped back on. I said, fuck that. I'm feeling too motherfucking this, good. Hey, this, this, this is actually my last day. Oh, remember to Russell Wilson, I mean, RussellHerbs.com. RussellHerbs.com. You know, I got my last day of my. What is that? Oh, that's Super Bowl Pocket. Super Bowl Pocket, you know. That's the uh, charcoal and chia seeds. Chia I don't know seeds. what else the fuck is in there. <laughs> but I tell you what. I tell you it what. Makes you, it makes you go. Yeah. It, it cleans all your stuff out of you. Okay. Thank Shit. you. Okay. And it's just time, man. It's time. Yeah. So that was the community empowerment. Please don't forget to support the Shrouded Lighthouse book. Uh, the more you support that book, the more resources I then have to, you know, develop the next book, 
which, you know, God has delivered unto me the idea that I need. Right. And if, you can, if you can read the Shrouded Lighthouse, is a gift to humanity. I mean what I'm saying. If you can read, can you read? No, nah, people can read. <clears throat> no, Hassan ain't going to do that. Yes, I, I can do the audio book. <laughs> She, <laughs> this audio book is no. like, <laughs> That would be incredible. I'll the audio book, that would be awesome. I, I know, I just, I know. You'll sound like, <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> the sounded lighthouse. The sounded lighthouse. <laughs> 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 the <sound laughs> lighthouse. The <laughs> Who's the actor in The Predator? The brother uh, that was in The Predator. Uh, uh, what's the Predator name? 2. Call, oh, no, no what's the name? Danny Glover? No, Predator 2. Predator 2 was Danny Glover. No, that was what's the name? Um, Abdullah. Yes. Abdullah. The one who played his name. Predator Two Carl. was Danny Glover. No, it wasn't. Abdullah yes, was. was. How much you want was that? Abdullah was. He was. <laughs> he was in that movie. Predator Two. No, he's right. <laughs> Predator Two. No, Danny Ken Glover. Is right. They, they, uh, was, they was. What's in the my city. guy's name though? <laughs> what's his name? He was on. He was on the. He was, on Car, show. he was on Car Wash. Yeah. What's his name? I, his name That's slips cool. my mind. What's the dude well, on Car Wash that played Abdullah? They put Bill Duke. Yeah, Bill Duke. Oh. Abdullah. He was in the first one. You, Bill Dick was yes, in, the first in the first one. one. Yeah. You speak my motherfucking book. If you do the motherfucking audio book for the Shrouded Lighthouse, uh, <laughs> you're going to sound like a scared <laughs> Bill Duke in the jungle. I, I see you. I, I see you. I see oh, you. Oh, no. I, oh, 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 baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, oh, baby. That's going to be you. <laughs> <laughs> I bet, I bet that people lie if they knew I was speaking it. Hey, let me just say wow. this. Uh, <laughs> Porter, Porter Angelo, thank you so much for hitting the super chat button. The super chat button is alive and well. I would love for you guys to support it big time. You can also support uh, my cash app, which is dollar sign Zo What Netter. Please do the same thing for Sarah. We about to jump right into <clears throat> topics. So, the United States of America, um, just put this up. They just put this up. Ready.gov. Just put it up. Ready.gov. Just put that website up. Ready.gov. Yeah, just go pull the website up. Ready, Doc? Nuclear explosions can cause significant damage and casualties from blast, heat, and radiation. But you can keep your family safe by knowing what to do and being prepared if it occurs. A nuclear weapon is a device that uses a nuclear reaction to create an explosion. Nuclear devices from a small portable device carried by an individual to a weapon carried by a missile. A nuclear expo explosion may occur with or without a few moments of warning. Fallout is most dangerous in the first few hours after the detonation when it is giving off the highest levels of radiation. It takes time for fallout to arrive back to the ground level often more than 15 minutes for areas outside of the immediate blast zones. <clears throat> There's enough time for you to be able to prevent significant radiation exposure by following these simple steps. Go inside. <laughs> you know, if it wasn't so real, it would be funny. But guess what? It's real. Yes, sir. By the time that they putting some shit out like that, yeah, I'm dead ass. We need to get prepared. There ain't no way in the world they putting that out. And but you niggas know, don't like niggas. Niggas, niggas have a whole business, a whole fucking industry, talking shit about niggas, talking about each other, talking about themselves, demeaning <clears> themselves. <throat> I was in the motherfucking. Uh, I was on the live watching the minister speak, and there's motherfuckers in there speaking negative and disrespectful in the chat about the minister. And, and this is my thing. Agree, disagree, like, don't like. But white folks stay on point. Stay on code. These white folks in the Ukraine who are supposed to be the victims, right? 
Mm-hmm. Let's just keep it a thousand here. We're supposed to be the victims, right? In their victimhood, on their victimhood bed, was still able to say, nigga, don't get on that train. This is incredible. <laughs> <laughs> this is some fuck shit that's incredible. Because here I am having sympathy for these motherfuckers, you know, thinking like, wow, they're getting their shit invaded. And you talking black shit? Black you talking man. melanin shit? And you saw the video with the little, with the lady, and, the, and the, I guess it was a family, it was a lady. She had her baby yeah. in three degree weather outside, couldn't get on any of the transports that was leaving. Uh-uh. Oh, fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck now, you. Now, let's just get down to the real brass tax of it. <clears> and <throat> fuck right. everybody who ain't hit the like button. <laughs> that part. See, do you see? The reason why I juxtapose these things is to show the frivolity of it all. Yeah. It's simple. Hit the like button to show your appreciation yeah. for the channel, to get it doing whatever. It fu- but that doesn't matter to the motherfucker who seeks to be entertained. Mm, He's it. not a part of your team. There, ooh, there it is. He's just here to burn time, to laugh. To giggle and look up and be like, damn, that 30 minutes, I need to Meanwhile, they talking about nuclear weapons. Right. And the folks that are victims are talking about black people get out. The fuck? So here's the real science of what's going on. It's a lot of motherfuckers talking about Ukraine and they bringing up all type of weird ancillary and tertiary motherfucking, uh, you know, reasons for why this is happening. This is why it's happening. It ain't, it ain't got shit to do with no motherfucking, Mm-mm. well, you know, Ukraine got all type of resources. This is number seven in cobalt and number 12. <laughs> Don't nobody give a fuck. They don't care about it. You know what it is? The United States, in an indirect way, is encroaching on Russia's borders by adding those countries that have broken off and formed their own countries. Yeah. Adding them to NATO. to NATO. And putting troops in those countries. And putting troops and resources right at the door. That's how it's going to So off. that's really what it is. And what Putin is saying is, you motherfuckers. Yep. You, Ukraine now, y'all niggas. Bet not. You better stay neutral. That's the real argument. It sure is. Is neutrality. Those, because again, how many countries going to join NATO? Mm-hmm. And the more that joins NATO, what happens? Russia feels like, hey, I'm getting pushed. Isolated. And I'm getting isolated and I'm being surrounded. That's just their mentality. Uh. <clears throat> now, that's what's happening. But on the flip side, don't ever forget the theater <laughs> of politics. Mm-hmm. Theater, my nigga. But see, let me tell you something about political theater. They don't mind killing niggas. Mm, yeah. People can die. Fuck it. Yeah, we we all on the same team behind closed doors. We're going to talk a gang mm-hmm. of shit on TV, our media. My media going to say something different than your media. Mm-hmm. My media going to say we liberators. The Russian media is going into the Ukraine, and what they're seeing, the Russian people is, hey, Russia is a liberator yeah. of mm-hmm. right the Ukrainian people. Yeah. Everybody outside of Russia see something different. Seeing something totally <clears throat> different. Yeah. We hear an invasion. I'm gonna say niggas of the world. Mm-hmm. Come on. Mind your motherfucking business and work with your people and get out of their shit. Can you do that? <laughs> Go fuck with Kevin or some shit. Hey, Kev, what's happening with the breastplate, nigga? I need a breastplate because I'm going to go down to the uh, gonna go down to the fish market. I don't want nobody fucking with you. I need a motherfucking breast. Why don't you fuck with our people, with our folk? Because you're dependent on a psychopath, a social psychopath to make your life make sense. You lack the <clears throat> courage and the testicular fortitude to really become a self-author of your own reality. (coughs) Now, there have been brothers out there that have spoken (laughs) on other brothers who don't even know them and don't know what they're capable of or not capable of. 
What I'm saying is, as a people, they don't mind fucking you up with their political game. Right. They don't care. Like, <clears throat> well, you know, what did they say before motherfucking uh, COVID hit? And it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of casualties. Oh yeah. Mm. They knew. They knew a lot it, of motherfuckers well, was gonna die. Well, they thought it was gonna be a lot more than who died. Nigga. That died, they thought it was gonna be more died than they actually did. So that's why. They, that's why. They that's started. not true. Yeah, that's not is. true. I it got, is. and that's not true. That's not true, Kev. I've got it from motherfuckers Dude. in office. Motherfuckers that have Dude. high position that said, there's going to be a lot of motherfuckers that die. They said it's going to be around 500,000 that first year. I'm getting it from motherfuckers no, that... Fauci, no, that wasn't Fauci number. Fauci predicted more than that. I, I'm not talking about Fauci. I'm talking about okay. internal motherfuckers. Not motherfuckers on the news pushing an agenda. I'm talking about internal motherfuckers. Well, again, that gave me the information. Well, I'm, talk, I'm talking dropped. about the niggas who created the shit. Them I'm niggas. talking about them niggas. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking, talking about the niggas about who created the, the shit. The inside niggas who told me. These are the niggas who told me before the shit came. Hey, nigga. Go get these masks right here. As a matter of fact, I got some in my car. Here, take these boxes. <laughs> take these boxes. And then go do this. Go do. Um, inside motherfuckers. Not media personalities. I'm not talking about them. Because they the, have. You mean the masks that don't work? You know what I'm saying? Is they have an agenda. We know that when a motherfucker get in front of the goddamn camera on television, we know these motherfuckers be speaking whatever has been written out. The, the PR people but, have looked yeah, over. Yeah, but my point, the, my point is they thought the people who created this whole thing thought there was going to be more deaths than there actually was. The thing didn't take out as many people as they but thought it was going to be. The, Kev, that's what and, I'm saying. That, I heard what you heard, but I also heard what you didn't hear. Which came from some people that lined up closely to what, where it's at right now. Them motherfuckers knew. But nigga, the people where it's lined up right now, though, that many people didn't actually die. Those are, those, are, those are skewed numbers. I'm saying, dude, the numbers, when they released this shit, this whole shit is some one world order super this plan. This is where we agree. This is some one world order super plan. And they thought they was going to take out a gang of more niggas than they actually did. Especially niggas. They thought it was, no, it was no, the, no. the thing. Even, this was supposed to be. It was supposed to be more effective towards niggas. But that's and what I'm wasn't. trying to say. That's that's not what they were talking about. They weren't talking about any of that. They were talking about an overall number that encompassed everybody, not just black people. That uh, again, the, uh, them affecting niggas. That was a narrative that was. I'm not talking out. about what you're talking about. I'm talking about what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the people who created the, the <laughs> pandemic, nigga. I'm talking the people who created. Oh, you you made a statement about niggas inside expected some numbers, and I'm saying he, the people who created the, the niggas. Talking about the, poli the politicians. I'm talking about the people really don't know about. But I'm talking about the people who created this expected way more numbers. Right. This this whole this whole shit that you're talking about is created by the people who created this goddamn who created the the boogie V. They created this the whole boogie. shit. The boogie, <laughs> the, boogie, the boogie V. They they created <laughs> <laughs> they created this whole bullshit. This is all part of the plan. The shit didn't go exactly the way they thought it was going to go because more people started pushing back against the cracks and nations. So if you if you again, if you go on, go on Telegram real world news, you'll see all the damn footage from around the world of people pushing back against this shit. And so because the people are pushing back against it, this the whole the whole thing started to go, the whole mandate vaccine, all this shit started to go down. So they had to put they had to put something else on the plate to take you away from that, to distract you from that shit which is their playbook, is always war. Every time they want to distract you with some major shit, they always mm -hmm. go to the war playbook. Yeah, and that's exactly... There's been a war all our lives. Huh? There's been a war all, all the time. Lives. Well, since the 90s, for sure. Right. And well, the funny since thing... since World War II, every, every 15 years... Right. Been but a funny war. thing, except for when Trump, Trump was in office. Trump was in office. Was the only <laughs> that that, that nigga, that's the only nigga that ain't starting no war. Funny that. But this is, this is the playbook on the cracks of nations going down. They have to... The, the whole cracks of nation plan is in play. It's in play. That, that whole... Uh, one world order by cracks a nation is in play. They have they have a uh, they have a, um, a World Health Organization called uh, Glicky or some shit like that where that's that that's supposed to go around it and they have they're supposed to get seventy percent of the world cracks in it. This is what they're doing by the middle of July. What? Their whole, yes, their whole plan yeah. is to get seventy percent of the world cracks in it by July. But, so you but don't hear. Huh? See what you're saying. That's not in opposition to what I'm saying. I'm not saying. I'm not. I wasn't in opposition to what you were saying. I'm just trying to <laughs> like all of this that you're talking about. I'm, I'm, I'm right. in total agreement with. 
I'm not in opposition to what you were saying. I'm just trying to <laughs> like where where was the impasse? I'm trying to find. There was it. no impasse. You were saying you just said that they were expecting death. I was saying that the people who created this were respecting way more deaths than there actually was. Okay, so in the United States, since this bitch started, nine hundred and forty-seven thousand deaths. Now, let's keep in mind. Is that the real numbers now? No, none of this shit is real. Okay. So, that's no. the default. None of it is real. <laughs> no. Okay. Damn, okay. We, we, we already know that motherfuckers with pre-existing conditions had whatever they had, and then it was labeled as four. At we least four, know that. four comorbidities. We, all, we, we, we already know that. But in the United States alone, according to this source, 78.8 million cases to date. 78.8 million cases. And this number of deaths, 947,000 deaths, was close to the number these motherfuckers were saying it's going to be around. Mm. That's all I was saying. Mm. These niggas promote certain things. Now, worldwide, 435 million cases. Cases. Okay. 5.9.5 million, almost 6 million deaths. That's a lot of death. Yeah, that's a lot of deaths. But let, let, let's put that in perspective. How many motherfuckers but, die from car accidents? But, in but I was about to say that, that's not a lot of deaths. It's, if you if you take not. if you take the deaths from 2018, the percentage of deaths in the world from 2018 to now, it's the same. Let's it's literally, it's exactly the same. Point is like point seven six percent. Pull it up, Sarah. 0.76%. Oh, in 2018, I mean, died in 2019, 2019, and 2020. It was the, the percentage of people yeah. who died in the world is, is exactly the same. Let's pull something up. Let's say it's cancer or right. died but, but, of, but, of, of everything. So before the pandemic, yeah, before the pandemic hit, you had as many people who died before the pandemic well, hit as when the pandemic hit. So that means no more people, people died. died right. No more, oh shit, no more people died. I'm sure they all got birth, uh, death certificates. 2018, right. in 2018, what the fuck? So you'll get America, United States. This is a fact, fact, a fact finding show now. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's <laughs> get into it. Yeah. It has to be that way. Some cover some Wait, shit. That, okay, Somebody said the flu, diabetes, right. heart failure, cancer, equals bullshit propaganda. That, oh, that's Jeff Breezy. What up, Breezy? Breezy. Where the world counter at, Sarah? I'm to <laughs> Niggas' lives is on the line. Right. Okay. Niggas' lives is on the line. <laughs> he said, <laughs> "Niggas' lives is on the line." This is like now. Oh my god. What is, what is the From 2018, how many niggas did? Yeah. How many people died in the world in 2018? Oh lord. Do you have to open it already? Like Nigga, wave it on. Wave the smelly mess smell around, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the uh, is that the uh, sweet potato? Is that the no, sweet potato? No, this ain't the sweet potato. What's that? This, this is some shit I ain't gonna share. Oh, I'm gonna eat it. Non <laughs> sharing ass. Oh, movies. them cookies, my nigga. Oh, what what kind of cookies are those? That's some shit he can share. <laughs> hey, what kind of cookies are those? Some some really okay. good. <laughs> so you know, hey, yes. He hold. Hey, I know you sent them here for everybody. No. I know you. No. <laughs> I know you, yes. You sent them here for everybody. There were, why does it keep on going? Okay, there were 2,831,836 deaths in all in 2018. Two what? million? From what? Two million. It just, Only it two million was, niggas died from in 2018? No. You, you want to do, you're looking for the percentage. You want to look up. for the percentage. It's, it's, okay, it's, it's saying, it you, is, Another way to see the effect of COVID nineteen is that more people have died already that the year in all uh, in this year than did in the entirety of either two thousand eighteen and two thousand nineteen. That's not true. It says there it's, were two thousand two. It's actually so they're saying there's more motherfuckers who died this it. year. Is that what you're saying? Sarah, I, I needed to hear that last statement. What'd you say? Is more people it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, the COVID not the 19, is that more people have died already this year than died in the entirety of either 2018 or 2019. There were 2,831,836 deaths okay. in all of 2018. 
and two million eight hundred and forty five thousand seven hundred ninety three in oh, all of two thousand nineteen. Okay. Where's that say, Zo? This is from No, you read this because I'm gonna change this. There we <laughs> yeah. go. Yeah. Death rate. World historical death rate year two thousand two thousand seventeen. Two thousand seventeen point three two zero percent. Two thousand eighteen point three two zero percent. Huh? Oh. What are you talking about? We're talking it's about the percent. Huh? Wow. What'd you say? It what? don't get the date, it just get a percentage. The one you want. Yeah, you're talking about the percentage of the people who died in the world. That's the point. You're talking, oh, we're talking about the percentage of people who've died in the world since then. The fact is, we don't know what the fuck we talking about. <laughs> 2019, we don't know who lived died no. or who died. No, no. <laughs> you know what you're talking about because you illuminated last week and the week before. We're using the numbers of who? Whose the, numbers are these? The numbers that are provided. Huh? The numbers huh? that are given. Huh? Did, you, did, did, did we do this survey? The point is, we listening to who? All I know is, Putin said something real serious. Wait a minute, see that? The percentages are the same. Oh, <laughs> they have not moved. <laughs> the oh, death rate has not moved. But, but listen, <laughs> I want y'all to hear this. I see that. More people Putin die said from something real um, serious, though, heart disease. And we gotta we gotta focus in on this right now. You know what he said? We don't want no good. This nigga going there eating these cookies. You know what I'm talking about? It's three of us, yo. Now, yeah, I had some heart shit recently, <laughs> but it's still three of us. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> it's still three of us, now, yo. He's two and a half. Stop playing, nigga. Two and a half this motherfucker. <laughs> There's yeah. two and a half men out this motherfucker, man. This nigga got these cookies, and we got Sarah. We'll see your ass trying to jog over here for a cookie. Hey, hey, man. Hey, nigga. Fuck your whole rehab. Nigga. 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 In 2000, 2000, 2010 uh, and 2011, the death rate was even higher. So look, Kevin has a point, and so does Sarah. But it ultimately makes my point. Yes. These numbers are provided. You don't know. Mm. Somebody just telling you some shit. Mm. True. Exactly. And I'm going to tell you this. telling you shit. This motherfucker told us some shit. Putin puts nuclear deterrent forces on high alert amid spiraling tensions over Ukraine. So, what does the United States do? They get with their allies and they say, okay, we're going to shut down all your banking. Google mm -hmm. has shut sure. down yeah, sure their did. phone shit and their <coughs> banking shit. Yeah. Swift, the Swift. Uh, the Swift shit, mm -hmm. right? So you know what he's saying? That's an you, act of war. You trying to cripple me, bitch? Yeah. So if you trying to cripple me, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. How about I don't give a fuck? Ooh. Okay? So, again, this niggas in this chat right now, Kevin, Say what? that are happy they think you and I are arguing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy too. Yeah, and then it's, <laughs> this nigga's like, see, I told you they don't even like each other. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. <laughs> right? 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 All I'm saying is, they don't mind playing a game. It's a game. Uh, uh, the news, the stories, the propaganda. They don't give a fuck. He said, we got we to gotta kill a few people, you know? And it's all right. That was the point of me saying, when the motherfuckers call and say, you know, motherfuckers, niggas is going to be dying. Yeah. A lot of niggas going to be dying. Listen. And how they going to die, and how they going to be labeled they going to die, and what they died of, nigga, none of that. Nigga, I sent you the video. Did you watch, you, watch, you watch that video I sent you about Ooh. the great the, the new, the great reset? Yeah. So yeah. they were talking about that this was uh, Klaus Schwab. I seen one on Jeff page, too. Some nigga yeah. inside of, uh, you take one cookie, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Or, or, what, what happened on Jeff Hayes? Mm -hmm. Jeff on has Instagram, some right? Shit on his boy. What? No berries or nothing in it, dude. You took mm -hmm. one cookie now. Does it have berries? One well, cookie, boy. But what did Jeff have though? He had. You gonna do that with the cleaner? Take one. Uh, yeah, take one. Here, huh. yeah, take one. He now, can he take a cookie? 
Nigga, it's COVID. You can't be touching right. another Nigga, man's first pussy. First of all, it That's was like touching another it was man's stuck, pussy, it man. It was stuck together, and I let him take the top one. It was oh. stuck together. <laughs> You want a cookie, baby? Come get a cookie. Okay, cookie, baby. Yeah, look, look. <laughs> While I was over past the cookie, Klaus Schwab, who was uh, one of the head of the, book, the you Bilderberg. You want girl? Come on. I'm one of the head of the Bilderberg. He was, uh, he was doing, on the World Economic go. Forum, and he was talking but about the Great good. Reset. These ain't real cookies. Those are some... Uh, what the hell is it? These guys are good. No, this right. is an oatmeal cookie. <laughs> hey, like, nigga, the show done stopped, and these niggas start eating cookies. <laughs> hey, no, what's that website again? These are actually really good. Yeah. I mean, not these. This. Yeah. These I are know. actually really good. Those are good cookies. Yeah. What's, what's, the, what's the website? Shout out to the, uh, she Shepherd, put something in here. Shepherd's what? She put a, a special Shepherd's ingredients bakery? in here, Shepherd's man. Shepherd's Bakery. That's a different type of place to it. Shepherd's Sweets, man. Shepherd's Sweets. My bad. Shepherd's Sweets. Y'all are acting to be eating no cookies. No. Why, why, why do I'm eating cookie after open heart surgery? <laughs> See, this, let me tell you something, man. Tell you, that's what got your ass to open heart surgery in the first place. This is what niggas do, right? Nigga eat a bag of chicken. <laughs> fuck another nigga woman. What? Right? That's what James Brown was talking about. You know? How'd that go together? <laughs> <laughs> How'd that go together? I had an idea. Eat a bag of chicken, fuck a nigga woman. <laughs> You get the chicken, the woman gonna go. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo. You get the chicken, the woman gonna go. She gonna go with the chicken and talk. They, they might push her ass out through the bathroom window. Here you go, nigga. I'm just saying. This is the kind of woman fuck shit go. niggas been doing for years. We do the wrong shit. All the way through. <laughs> this is my first sweets, man. My first sweets. You shouldn't man, be fucking with no you cookies. Do not. I, this nigga grabbed two cookies with his nasty. Hey, hand. wrap that up and say <laughs> that. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Look at me here. I got your cookie for you. <laughs> hey, nigga, he had open heart surgery, not hand surgery. Nigga, grab his cookie. What's wrong with he you, said man? He hand surgery. <laughs> <laughs> nigga ain't Doctor Strange, nigga. It was already stuck together, and I was already committed. It was oh, already nigga. stuck. I'm just saying, man. That was funny. We do, I'm just saying, we do a lot of fuck shit in our lives until it gets serious. Oh, man. See, to them, they know Zoe's life, Kevin's life, Dom's life, Sarah, Hassan, anybody up in here, they know. Our lives are really just chess pieces mm. on a board. Mm. And if the chess piece gets captured or killed, they don't really give a fuck. That's just part of the game. Nope. Right. You are Listen, a statistic. Let's talk about it for real. <clears throat> these families, these elite families that have intermarried and interbred. What, 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 you, what, what did you think, the, the thing on Jeff Board, though, you said you, you saw? It was a proper dude. Talking about nigga. Gold ain't gonna buy you a bag of bread. <laughs> and this shit cry. Mm. A bar of gold. Talk about it. Or some silver, nigga. I ain't finna get you nothing, nigga. <laughs> He's he saying that gold and silver is not gonna get you anything? He said not the vitals. There won't be a system set up mm. for you to be able to go there and trade out for whatever currency they're gonna use or not use. So you can have a motherfucking pocket full of gold and be starving. <laughs> what he's saying is he had 40 acres and he was selling out plots because he was like, y'all need teams yes. <clears throat> for prepping. That's right. If you're going to prep, don't try to prep by yourself. You're going to get robbed. That's right. <laughs> he said you need community teams. Mm -hmm. Ain't that the shit we've been talking about since 2012? Right. That sounds about right, too. But if it's nuclear, how are you going to garden? No, we're not just talking about nuclear. Yeah, we're talking ain't, about, ain't about to do that. In, 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 first yeah. off, the nuclear situation is called deterrent. Mm, deterrent. That's why, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't think we should not be thinking that it ain't going to happen. It's I not going to happen. Gonna happen. Gonna happen. Gonna happen. Gonna name a 9 11. I don't happen. think we should first be thinking that should be. First of all, we should be putting that mental thought out in the air. Listen. So fuck what you're talking about. You should be. Everybody put the mental thought in the air that this shit is not going to happen. Yeah, However, it's not going to happen. Not gonna happen based off the policy, nah. nigga. Because the whole point is the game. The whole point is the game is for me to win the game. If I blow up the game, nigga. 
<laughs> if right. I blow up the game. But let me just say this, and I know you know this. There was a weapon that was shown to us on 9-11, 2001, that we never saw before. And we ain't talked about, well, we don't know what the weapon is because it, it basically. <laughs> that was media. Well, <laughs> media. <laughs> it, was, it was media, but the thing that took those buildings down was not anything we saw before. It, it was, was an invisible harp. weapon. Talking about harp. It, was, it was harp, right? Some of us know about this, right? But at the Wait, end of the day. I don't know about this. Hold on. Well, well harp can. What can Harp can create earthquake. What? In 9-11? Those, those buildings a, were taken a down. Breaks, she goes all over preaching about this break. They were taken down city. by an energy weapon, bro. Yeah. Talk about how the It the, was an the energy weapon that took the building. It went they to were dust. dustified. It was dust. It went to dust. They went to really? dust. Yeah, if, you really, if you look at that footage yeah. again, they like were Batman dustified. Superman. Like when Batman, Superman, Superman, shit. Batman running through the dust, trying to grab they, niggas. They said, yeah, when, yeah, from the collapse, <laughs> there oh, should be way <coughs> more debris there from the crap, from the collapse than there was. There was Thank only you. dust. You there's know not, this, there's barely not, not any, so that's any why, debris and, there. And, and I'm with you on the, on the I'm mental on, part. And of, I know, wait, Jeff Brown in here talking shit. I wish he was here. He should call in. Right. This motherfucker said, can he please finish? You ain't never let a nigga finish. Nigga, for real, nigga. What? What the hell are you talking about? About Jeff. Shit, but, <laughs> but listen, just to let me wrap up the yeah, thought. Yeah. You know how much space you need day, when you on your own show by yourself? <laughs> Come on, Jeff, don't do us like listen, that. God I'm with damn. you, Kev. I'm with you on the on the on the projection of certain thoughts. I'm with you on that, right? So we we in agreement on that. But I saw some crazy shit 20 years ago, bro. Yeah. I'm a filmmaker. I took the footage that they, they showed us of what happened to the Pentagon, and there was only three frames of a fucking lightning ball going across the screen, homie. Yeah. There was no plane. So do me a favor. Just okay. tell me a little bit more. So there's a, there's that, a woman he, 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 who's a scientist. Go ahead. set it up because so there might be people in here who never heard about it. Judy Wood. Go ahead. Yeah, Judy. Yep. That's a scientist posits, right, she posits that... It wasn't the explosion that everybody is saying. They it heard. wasn't planes at all. It wasn't, it wasn't planes, planes at all. No. <clears throat> it was an energy weapon so that we had it? never saw. Her name is Judy Wood. Look her up. And she has videos on YouTube. Jeff Brown said, what's the Skype number? Continue. Uh, MC um, Norville. Judy Wood said that the buildings were dustified. Meaning if you look at these, if you look at the footage again, you will, before your very eyes, you'll realize, shit, I done seen this a million times. And now I realize... The buildings did turn to dust. They turned to dust, bro. Mm -hmm. Really? In front of your eye. If you look at the footage. No, I remember today, that one lady who later died. It was a sister. She was covered in dust. Yeah. Come on, man. MC Norm. Dude. MC Norm. <clears throat> Come on, man. They 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 found, first of all, they found cars that were blocks and blocks away that were blown out. That were like blown out with fire. Like, so blown out like Explosion. Yeah, Boom. Yeah. Or like, explosion. Yeah. yeah. It was an Lots and blocks weapon. away. There was four that was way away from the building where no fire could have hit him whatsoever. They found they found fucking IDs. So if it was fire that, that tore these things down, they found IDs that with no burns on them. Fully intact. Fully intact. Fully intact. No but burns. But <laughs> they found let IDs me go back the, to this debris. point. For Kev and, and, and my brother Dom. Dom, don't get excited, nigga. You didn't <laughs> 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 Dom, <laughs> See, Dom is today. Aries too, Nick. He don't get excited. You done had a motherfucking cookie. <laughs> got some, got some you, sugar. I got some sugar in there. You, you in here <laughs> arguing and shit. Uh, Dom, you hyped on some sugar right now. Nigga had open heart surgery. He he, he, he he want a cookie and he want to argue. What kind of, <laughs> that's some Aries shit. Hey, well, fuck it then. <laughs> no, it's not what we do. <laughs> well, fuck Settle it, the fuck down. <laughs> Let me come back to my <laughs> ultimate point. I don't give a fuck about the details of mm -hmm. this or that or whatever. The bottom line is that's how these motherfuckers create a narrative right. to keep motherfuckers <clears throat> subordinate. And all I'm saying is the only narrative we should have as a people today is we fuck with each other. Exactly. The world has already said, where are you going when the shit hit the fan? Mm -hmm. When the world says, where are you going? Because I know where I'm going. You know, we originally from Poland. We finna get on this uh, bullet jet, to po uh, this bullet train to Poland. All niggas. <laughs> now, now, just understand how they look at black people. You can be African American. You can be motherfucking Haitian. You can be Cuban. I don't, I don't give a fuck what kind of nigga you claim. You what a nationality nigga. 
Let me get this to, to uh, <laughs> MC Norv. MC Norv. Is it all but, one word? <clears throat> yep. But no, man, you the whole thing, what he was saying about deterrent, it is to deter. They don't, they're they not going to blow up, they're not gonna blow up the board game. The whole point. Right. <laughs> that's the whole point. You said what it is, and now people are trying to call in. But is that, oh, is that, shit. oh, shit. See, niggas. See? That's what niggas do. Well, I'm going to call in then. No. <laughs> Somebody want to hear you? Yeah. <laughs> Jeff Brown. So that's the motherfucking number. <laughs> oh shit, nigga. <laughs> Thank you, those to my brother so I'm gonna call in, nigga. <laughs> Thank you, so me. No, but again, I just want y'all to understand, man. It's a lot of motherfuckers in the world that's tired of being America's bitch. Yeah. Yeah. And you got some crazy motherfuckers out there, man. Got some crazy motherfuckers out there to be like, well, fuck it then. If, if, yeah. if Russia will continue to be last, then we will be the first to destroy this motherfucker. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't put shit past nobody. But we're not a That's country. We're saying. not an autonomous country just doing shit. This is all planned by these, these all these other motherfuckers. Yeah. So anybody Agreed. involved, the, their their moves are planned. Putin ain't ain't separate from that shit. Agree. But remember, years ago, and I think Putin is still one of the last holdouts yeah, on that is. new world the, order he shit. He is. Well, he ain't somewhat. Can, can he we is. we got two somewhat on camera is. saying that that nigga's the holdout. Okay. <laughs> Somewhat he is. Jeff Breezy. That nigga is oh, <laughs> hey. Hey. Bro. Here come the Matrix curtains. <laughs> come on. We can hear you. We can hear you, my nigga. Can you hear us? Fellas, 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 fellas. What, what up, dog? What, what, what up? up? Jeff Brown Jeff. Jeff. Hey. here. What? Hey, Jeff Brown, bring some motherfucking sense to this shit, man. These <laughs> niggas been arguing with me all day, begging okay. for cookies and shit. Uh, Nigga, <laughs> shit ain't cool, man. For the cookies that was sent. I know you ass sent these cookies for us. Something in uh, the Sister Sugar that got you niggas. Yeah, <laughs> Sister <laughs> Sugar. <laughs> okay. And uh, I didn't know Dom had open heart surgery. So yeah. uh, for this cookie, bro, please understand as soon as I see you, I'm going to need you squarely in the fucking ball. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Jeff, that, that man heart is just starting to figure shit out again. Right. You can't need Please. a nigga in the nuts. I'm, he I'm said his heart's starting I'm to trying figure trying shit out again. I'm trying to convince my super friends to live. Oh, Do you know how many average niggas that should take your place in death, Don? There are plenty of average niggas we need to get rid of. You're extraordinary. Damn. Could you do me a favor and start treating my friend's body like it's extraordinary? Thing? <laughs> he don't give a fuck, Jeff. Look, yeah, watch does. this, Jeff. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Hey, no. <laughs> <laughs> he know he wanted to. Hey, you know he want that green nigga. No, you know he want that green nigga. No. Three <laughs> forgot to pull up on a ten speed. <laughs> This nigga has dodged death 46 times. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, well, those of us who know him and love him know him. Anyway, we love him, man. Uh, I'm having this battle on my page, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. There are, there's, I put up a picture of uh, the, the Sam Jackson Django picture where he's hugging. The Again. Ukrainians, <laughs> yeah, I saw that. And they got, I got niggas in yeah. Ukraine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting such backlash from people who apparently are not watching an entire country find a way to debase black people in the middle of a fucking in war. In the middle of a war. Mm -hmm. you, are, you are so racist. <laughs> that shit crazy. That bombs. That shit crazy. That bombs will not stop you. Uh-oh. Now, you asking for help for an army made up of the same people that you over here shitting on. <laughs> this is why I, talk, I, I, I spit and piss in the face of people who speak of black patriotism. There is no patriot like keep, a black Keep veteran. going, Jeff. Keep no. going. Keep going. Because Go he ahead. has no friends. He is fighting an enemy for his enemy. So this concept 
that I'm supposed to have some type of sense. <clears throat> no, here's where I am in my military mental mind. This is what I think is going to happen. Putin is, uh, uh, I don't think he's fake putting his finger on the bomb. I don't think so either, Jeff. He ain't bluffing. <laughs> so what's going to happen is he's going to take the Ukraine. And after that, he's going to help China if they need to take Taiwan. And when they got them to, here come the whore of Babylon. They finna see her panties. They on the way. And somewhere, <laughs> somewhere on a map, everything from Maine to San Diego is divvied up Chinese Russian style. Because right out the. Zo, you know where I stand? Yeah. Bruh. Uh, King's Manor? I know. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's now full of Russians in velour suits and dress shoes, nigga. I know. This it, is not true, right? Yes, nigga. The same King Manners you used to be this in. This is nigga. true. <laughs> yeah. Bro, what? King Manners is different no now. What is King Manners? What? It's a no, the King's Manor <laughs> used to be a, a housing project. I know yeah, a lot of people project, don't think yeah. this is possible, but a fucking housing project in the city of Pasadena, California. Yeah. One middle. of the one of the most notorious housing projects in shit. California. In, in in the world. Nigga, it was neck <laughs> us. It was popping in there. It was a different kind of negritude happening in that <laughs> motherfucker. Yes. In the eighties, yeah. nineties, sure problematic. Sure and now they gone. Yeah, now Russians? they've been they've yeah, they've they've re gentrified yeah. it. And now you can walk by and smell borscht cooking. Oh shit. <laughs> no, because I remember when we were young, you you were there. <clears throat> you was there when this happened. Uncle Bobby just joined the fray. They created the the the, 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 the King's Manors was so large. These motherfuckers created a fencing system that was like a maze. Yes, because yes, they did. before the fences went up. Niggas could just, just run in there yep. and duck into their place. Yep. Yep. And you can't the cops couldn't find right. it. Because all the places look the same. So these motherfuckers created a fencing <laughs> maze. Sure so did. when a nigga run through a fence, he still got to do some shit, <laughs> and that slows his ass down. <laughs> and then they can catch his ass. Yep. And then the gates came, at the top of the gates, the bitch came out like this. Like, so you couldn't climb. So you couldn't right. climb the motherfuckers. Then across the street where there was a nursing home, they put the same fences up so niggas couldn't jump in there to hide. <laughs> Nigga, the King's sure Manors did. was a different kind of place. And what do you make a maze for? Rats. <laughs> now See? all them gates is gone. Yeah, they didn't took the that down. Took the gates down. Yeah. You can walk right into the King's Manor now. Before yes. you couldn't just do that. And not get robbed. Shit. It's different now. It's it's totally different, and and the, the shit that black people are finding. Look, I'm pat. Look, I'm patting Timmy Tie Top on. The shit that we need to study is, is so incredibly unimportant. Come on. Incredibly unimportant. If you are not going into every health food store, I just did this, bro. I just did this in Happy Days, though. I went up there and said, "Oh, you have uh, <coughs> seeds? I'll take them all." Ah, go ahead. You better go in every goddamn health food and and and, and uh, a grocery store and, and pharmacy. Anything that they can say it got some seeds on it, your monkey ass ought to be buying. True sure indeed. That's right. Yep. Have you noticed how now when you buy weed, you can't buy seeds in it? Right. Because back in the day, you used to complain about seeds yeah. before you right. had to grow your own fucking weed. You should got too many seeds. Right. right. Okay. Because you didn't know you could just put it in a towel, put uh, wet the, the paper towel, put it over it, put it in the dark, and it'll grow a little uh, a bud, and you can put it in a plant and grow your own fucking weed. You didn't know that. So you complain about what you could smoke. Now, you can't get a seed in no weed. They won't sell it to you. That's right. Seeds is what you is is what you need to get a hold of, and I believe the gentleman to my left and y'all's right was telling you about the uh, the seed silo, bank silo. Yeah, the seed yeah. bank. Yeah, yeah. You better be buying seeds. You niggas are still, again. These are the same niggas that I told you will be electric sliding in FEMA camps. 
<laughs> you know what, hey Jeff? You know how niggas are. You know how black folk are. Black folk figure. Well, fuck it, nigga. I didn't weather everything else. I guess I could weather a nuclear storm. Exactly. Uh, I can weather all this shit, nigga. We gonna we gonna be we gonna be out here skating, nigga, on nuclear uh, ice, nigga. No, it ain't gonna be like that. You gonna suffer. Now, Jeff Brown told you. Bobby told you. Kev done told you. Tim, even Timmy Tight Top in his saloon door tooth done told you. In his own molecular fashion. In his own molecular <laughs> way. These niggas, boy. We gotta work he together. Said these niggas. You said it, nigga. Damn. <laughs> no, the bottom line is we've been saying this shit for years. Jeff, did you see the minister? And Jeff, I want to do something special today because Bobby just walked in. Jeff, yeah. I want you to interview Bobby because Bobby got so much wealth of knowledge. I would love to see Jeff Brown ask Bobby some questions regarding what we talking about. Don't look at that watch. I saw you. Don't look at that watch. We got your ass, nigga. You're in here now. You can't <laughs> <laughs> that, that was the slickest quick look at that watch. <laughs> he waved it by. <laughs> All right, all right. I will speak on. I'm gonna ask Uncle Bobby uh, some questions, but I'm gonna do a shameless plug. Uh, Absolutely. A crew. Uh, it's called the GMS Podcast. Young Cats, man. Yes. Uh, uh, this weekend we're gonna be doing a. Uh, I don't even want to call it a beat battle. I'll call it a beat battle in love, but it's a beat summit, and it's gonna be the OGs versus the Young Bucks. So and you I got your dentists? Always ass in it. Oh, I brought drug the bullies. The bullies are here. Okay. Rashad Coles, Clint, Payback Sands, Broadway nigga, and nice. truly Jeff Brown will be there with his nigga Dun Dun. The now, Dun Duns. Okay. I'm gonna have to show up for that. There is a there is a, a a moniker for this next gentleman that I'm going to interview that I would like to take credit for putting on him because he reminds me of my uncle that I miss so dearly. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's interview the one, the only, Uncle Bobby Glanton Smith. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Look at Bobby. This motherfucker ain't excited about shit. This nigga. Wait, put the camera on me, sir. This, this is Bobby. Face. Bobby breaking angles. <laughs> Fuck y'all want to know. Fuck these niggas talking about. Fuck you want to know, nigga. <laughs> and I'll, I'll take. I'll give you this compliment as we as we go into this. Nobody can argue that we are worse off because Big Mama is gone. Parenthetically, ask any black woman, does she want Big, big Mama's job and get ready to cry? Uh, I am glad that men like you have not left the elder black man station because it is so sorely, sorely needed right now. So with some of that Murfreesboro, <laughs> what do you see? as the way forward for us with what's going on right now, in, with, directly with Russia. How are you, what, what you doing with your syrup? How are you getting ready? Well, as far as Russia is concerned, Russia is gonna do what Russia is gonna do. Uh, the likelihood of him pushing that button has increased precipitously over the last 48 hours because the uh, initial assault has not yielded the results that they anticipated. So he's far more desperate now than he's ever been because the sides have aligned against him that he thought we were going to collaborate with him. The wild card, as you said a minute ago, is uh, China. China. Mm -hmm. And they are in a, they in, they in a sweet spot right now, quite frankly, because nobody's going to really challenge <coughs> them head up because they got the numbers in their favor plus the technology. Right. So as I sit here right now, I'm just hopeful that he doesn't pull the trigger, but the likelihood has increased quite a bit over the last 48 hours. Okay. So what are you, all shit, ones in the air? What's on your mind? Uh, I can't really worry about that as much as I, I need to concentrate on what we are doing, because you did put, put that into the question as well. Uh, been working with uh, Brother Donaja for the last 20 years, and it is time now to implement many of the strategies that he has shared with me. I was at his house the other day. He's got an avocado tree that's blossoming as we speak, and we, they done frightened America with the fact that it's going to be an avocado shortage. It ain't going to be no avocado shortage.
at a Donajah house. Yeah, like that, right? you got a tree, goddammit. Yeah. <laughs> More important than that, we're creating food systems. Uh, I sent Zoe a, a video that we'll probably run next week. That mm -hmm. just, it's a brother named Glenn Ford. Uh-huh, I got it. And, I saw it. Um, it's a very, very powerful and timely video that was done two years ago where he talked clearly about putting together food systems around the country. And that was two years ago, so I'm sure that they are went into the initial impl implementation phase of that. On the local level, we're coordinating local growers. We are creating, he got seeds. My man got seeds, Adonja got seeds, all right? But more importantly, he has the expertise and the passion and the commitment to his people to make sure that we are in a position to feed ourselves in the short term. So if the bombs fall and, and nuclear waste is all over the place, we all in trouble. <laughs> nuclear waste all over the place. <laughs> yeah, we dead. <laughs> we dead. You understand? We dead. Uh, I'm we gonna dead. This one, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, has anybody heard this? And yeah, what say you to this, Uncle Mike? Um, in the past year or two years, all of a sudden, all the maniacs like in Independence Day, Randy Quaid's character, I was abducted by aliens and they put some shit in my belly button. We've been telling you it's aliens. All of a sudden, uh, the man, you know there's a system in place. All of a sudden, those people don't sound so crazy. Mm -hmm. I think we can all uh, mm -hmm. agree on that. With that, there is some fringe news that Canada is saying everything about what they know about aliens and that aliens are going to try to intervene before this nuke what? and stop it because of the, the the effect on the galaxy it will have if they let another uh, nuke off again. <clears throat> so that's, that's uh, and I, I've heard this before, that's a, and that's an old narrative. Uh, okay. it, it first arrived in, uh, what was that, World War II before they dropped the first bomb they was basically saying a, a, a galactic brotherhood mm -hmm. intervened and was like, uh, y'all motherfuckers done discovered the power of the atom. They put that shit in the movie Stargate. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> y'all done discovered the power of the atom. Uh, if you motherfuckers continue to move forward this way without having what Krishnamurti called a developed spirit mm -hmm. or psychology, Oh, the only thing that's going to develop in your motherfucking society is your technology. Which like that means, monkey with the AK-47. Exactly. It's the monkey with the AK, or the monkey with his hand on the motherfucking button. Yeah. <laughs> right? I'll blow this up if we don't get what we want. So again, that's where we are, and that story has kind of filtered. And You've heard of, what was the guy's name? Uh, the Venetian Val Thor is what they called him. They said this man named Val Thor, look him up. <clears throat> Uh, he was a fucking Venetian, a nigga from Venus, came to America and met with the hierarchy, the government hierarchy, and basically was like, I'm an alien, fuck you, I don't give a fuck if you believe it or not, you niggas is going in the wrong direction. If you continue to down this path without evolving <coughs> spiritually, this is what's going to happen. Now, this is my thing. I don't give a fuck and don't believe shit they say because they play games with knowledge. They see knowledge as a technology. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna I'm create an ideological virus <laughs> and I'm gonna download this shit through your phone and television to think like this, right? What I tend to do, I got you, Bobby. What I tend to do, because Bobby will jump in and be like, no, fuck all this shit. I don't give a damn about none of this. It ain't no goddamn wheels. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Jeremiah's the devil. Jeremiah's <laughs> the devil. Jeremiah was a bullfrog. This is my shit. This is what I think. Right. <laughs> I don't listen to anything white people vet. Because it's hard. Because they always have a political agenda, it seems, around it. <laughs> That's designed, Zoe, yeah. Could you please repeat that, uh, uh, the one word? I don't listen to anything white people, what? I didn't Say. Vet. 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 Oh, vet. Yeah, what vet. they vet. Vet. V-E-T. Oh, what they, yeah, oh, shit. Yeah. Are you going to listen to the devil about his daughter? No, <laughs> yeah. So, if I want to know about the aliens, I'm going to check with the Dogon. Bomb. And the oh, Nomos. Okay. Bomb. Right? 
and you know Patolo. I'm a I'm gonna go with that. What they say? They, they said the motherfuckers visited them and gave them science. I'm gonna go with Credo Mutua down in South Africa. This, well, he just passed, but I'm gonna go over there. I'm not fucking with nothing that Zachariah stitching, <laughs> stealing ass. Uh, I'm not <laughs> fucking with nothing. Eric Von, what's his name? The chariots of God. Eric, Eric Von Daniken. You motherfuckers been retelling our story for years, and I'm not fucking with nothing you got to say because even Carl Sagan <laughs> pointed out the devilry of these motherfuckers when he said, How in the fuck can Star Wars be real? He said this when the first Star Wars came out. He said, the whole galaxy is white. <laughs> Ain't no niggas in the game. Ga- <laughs> he didn't say no niggas. He just said he was on Johnny Carson. They asked him. He said, "The whole galaxy white." <laughs> <laughs> this is it's impossible. It can, n- what? I like to. Can I so the white this? people here. He said, "Everything that's not white is abnormal." Mm. Ah, mm. Everything Bobby. Everything that is not white is super fucking alien and super repulsive to human sight. Wow. Bobby? I'm putting it for the universe. Yeah? At the end of the day, uh, <laughs> because the scenario that we just talked about at length, Ed knows him as well. Don't say it. I see. <laughs> motherfucker did that to me on the radio the other day. <laughs> hey, well, fuck you, so I don't want to talk about this. Okay? Man. Listen, I'm man. Listen to me, man. I don't want to talk about it. You understand? I'm not changing. I said, what happened, Jeff? I, Bobby, so what I'm, happened to me last week? Let's talk I'm, about this. I'm not, I'm not stinging you. I'm no, not, we're not going to talk about that. I'm though. actually agreeing with you. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm not interested in what the naysayers got to say as it relates to the doom and gloom that we're possibly facing right now, I am mm-hmm. pulling for the universe in all aspects of that. Right. Many of the things that you yeah. talked about because you had the expertise in that, I'm pulling for that. Right. Because otherwise, you know, it's time to get up under something and, and just crawl up and die. Sarah, That's where that uh where do. that uh school desk at? Oh, sorry. Pull that shit up. Jeff, most of us gonna be up under this shit right here, Nate. You stupid. So can I, can <laughs> I also, <laughs> That's why I'm putting for the, exactly um, for the universe. Not me. With not that me. being said, the applications of what we know is a possibility in terms of fortifying our bodies, because we are already at death's door anyway. Mm-hmm. Just with the way we have positioned ourselves to rely on other people to provide us with our nutrition and our vitality our mental state of mind, because you talked about that. They don't already program us. We mm. got to deprogram mm. us right now. Mm. That's job number one, is to get out from under that fog that we're in. Right. So can I offer this really quick? Absolutely. All of our lives, starting with Bobby's life, the alien's been in the room. It's my theory and a hypothesis that this very technology that we're using to broadcast throughout the world is the motherfucking alien. I'm just going to leave it. Jeff Brown, I need you to interview somebody else one more time. Sure. I need you to interview Kevin. No, you don't. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, there we go. Because we got to get this information out. Because Kev got, he, hey, Kev. Got Kev, Kev, yeah, you do, Kev. <laughs> don't don't, don't, <laughs> don't you do it, Kev. Uh, Kev got nothing. I've been, I've been dying. I've been dying to give this interview. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. The absolute wrong nigga you want to meet in the alley for a couple of What's up, nigga? That's what's a, up there, nigga? That's for sure. Well, what's happening? That's, that's damn for sure. <laughs> well, what's happening? Yeah, what's up, nigga? What's up, nigga? What's cracking, nigga? <laughs> Why are we talking, nigga? Why are we talking and not scrapping, nigga? Oh, what's happening? <laughs> what's motherfucking mouth running going on? <laughs> one of the most, one of the most knowledgeable, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, what you are looking at is the Council of the Red, Black, and Green Lanterns. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what color is Bobby? Uh, what, what color, uh, which Uncle which Bobby lantern? Is, Uncle Bobby is all red, black, and green, but his red is that red from the seventies. That, like yeah. 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 that burgundy red. Yeah, that burgundy red. Red deep burgundy. Black panther under everybody. Yeah, there table. we go. You know that table that everybody on <laughs> got? That's a glass panther. Yeah. <laughs> this green is on the side of a seventies Dodge van. This red. That's right. We got that old wisdom we need. We got That's that right. Wisdom. Now, Kev is, Kev is Aries. Kev is, is the god, 
the god of war of this table. That's what you are, nigga. Own that shit, nigga. He is the god of war of this table. I'm Buddha, nigga. I'm best. I'm Buddha, nigga. I'm Buddha. And once he gives you the truth, there are those who stand under it and those who die. <laughs> he said it's those who died. Yeah. Kevin Barron. Yeah. Y'all with that bullshit. I have been I have been absolutely uh dying to get your input on this from this place. <laughs> with with America crumbling the way it is and your great grasp on the law and the way it works. Mm -hmm. Should we miss the nuke and should an asteroid miss us, how do we apply what you know to what is falling? To what is falling? You mean? Yeah, like, the, as... like we, this American shit, this American shit is over. Like uh, somebody right. said, <laughs> it's already dead, it's just falling slow. Somebody mm -hmm. said that on, oh me, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, <laughs> What say you about what you know about law and how can that help us in the future? Well, America is not necessarily dead. They're changing it. They're flipping it. See, this is why, this is why you here, nigga. Get that shit up, nigga. nigga. For real, though, nigga. This nigga crazy as shit. But no, they're flipping. They're changing America. They're, this one world shit is in full effect. It's in, it's in overdrive. And some of it is not, or most of it actually is not working the way they planned it to go. So, you know, this is why you see a, a lot of this, you know, a lot of fuckery going on around the world. A lot of this shit is yeah. kind of distraction to take you away from the underlying shit that they're doing. They're still implementing policies and doing all this crazy shit to link up this one world shit under, on the under low, while on the top, you worried about Putin and all this and mandates and all of that shit. They're still doing the fuck what they're doing on the low. America has to change because, first of all, it was planned to change like that way, but it can't stay the way it's, it is today. This is why they're, they're trying to move it to some type of uh, uh, socialist government. It doesn't work. No, it doesn't, it doesn't work the way, the way they set it up. So they're trying to move it into some type of socialist government the way the rest of their governments are in the world. Most governments work on some type of socialist, <clears throat> you know, so socialist system. So they have to move America into that system before they link America with the rest of the world. So it's, a, it's stages that they have to do. America has to move from capitalist system to socialist or some type of hybrid capitalist socialist system. And yeah. then they can link it up with the, rest, with the rest of the one world. And so that's what you see what's going on right now. And you're right, there are a few holdouts of this one world order. That was um, your boy uh, over in South Korea. Venezuela? Uh, or yeah, Venezuela. No, Venezuela didn't jump in yet, but. Kim Jong un. Huh? Kim Jong un, yeah. Uh, Il or un, what was it? Un? It was mm -hmm. un, right. So Kim Jong un. Kim, Kim Jong un. It was, I thought it was ill. Whatever. The nigga in South Korea. Lil Kim. <laughs> the Lil Kim. Yeah. That nigga. I'm finna run out of here, Bobby. <laughs> right, Lil Kim. He said Lil Kim. Kim. <laughs> Lil Kim. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Iran, Iran is not, Iran is not in it yet. So, you know, they're, you know, they're, they're trying to force these cats into it. And Putin is also one of them. That was a holdout. Putin was a holdout as well. And so this is why they were saying, well, Ukraine wanted to join NATO. NATO was like, nah, we, we do that, we're going to piss Putin off. So they were, they were kind of on the low trying to bring Ukraine in on trying some, to yeah, all. trying on some low shit, like yeah. on some around the bout. <laughs> the, the, the global DJ. Yeah, exactly. Right. Y'all niggas is too close. Yes. You're too close to the boundaries, yes. my nigga. How many countries go join this bitch? Y'all motherfuckers in our backyard. Yeah. So, One more of you motherfuckers join up yep. with them niggas and see what happens. <laughs> and so they was like, That's what this is yep. about. He was hey, like, One more. Was like, bitch ass nigga, we told you don't motherfucking join NATO, didn't we? And they was like, Nigga, we ain't necessarily joining NATO. They just kind of helping us out on the low. He like, Nah, they nigga. Have another, <laughs> he like, Nah. They have another organization called Play Doh that we fuck with. <laughs> Play Doh. <laughs> Just, okay, this dude. mojo <laughs> shit, nigga. Nah, man. Don't fuck with NATO. He said, "Don't." I told you, don't fuck with them. They just helping us out with a couple of things, man. Nah, nah. <laughs> so that's what's going on right now. They're trying to force Putin into this shit, 
um, again, though, which is why you're not going the, the World Forum, you have to go look at the, 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 the speeches at the World Forum and the one that Klaus, uh, um, Klaus Schwab gave. Klaus Schwab is the main dude that's running everything. You know, he's, you know, BlackRock connected. He, uh, you know, he was uh, the head of head of the boule. He was head of the boule, what they call. Uh, uh, this Negro. Yeah, this motherfucker. Yeah. Okay. And Biden in the World Health in the World Forum, Biden was just chilling with him the whole time. So, so I don't give a fuck what you say about not being able to get no Drake tickets. <laughs> if I call Klaus, I get some fucking. Nigga, Klaus Drake is the motherfucker. Klaus okay. Schwab is the nigga right now in I'm the done. world. That yeah. motherfucker said, he said, we're going to have to do this great reset. This nigga said that. <laughs> I, I sent Zoe the video now, this morning. Now, people are bringing up this, this obvious point. I thought, it, I thought everybody knew this already, but uh, Terrell Harrison brings it up in the chat room, which I guess it is beneficial for people to know this. But... The Ukraine was originally a part of Russia. Yes. Yes. So yes. The USSR. Yes. So it's about an abusive nigga want his girl back. Right. Yeah, or, like, or, like, or, or, <laughs> bitch, you can't leave. Yeah. <laughs> Not I want my girl back. Right. Bitch, you just, bitch, you just renamed a, a room <laughs> in our house. <laughs> Did it? Right. You still live here. <laughs> now, I, can I pose this question to all of you? Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, this is my prediction. It's going to go one way or the other. Either Putin ain't bluffing, and we're going to call it and see, and some part of the earth is going to glow forever. <laughs> or he's going to take over the Ukraine which is going to embolden China to take over Taiwan. Yeah. And then the both of them are coming here. That's the only reason that he actually did it because China is backing them. Or at the very least, China was yeah. like, they, yeah, they yeah, talked to China and when China was like, yeah, we, ain't, we, we, ain't we over here, my name. <laughs> they did. China was like, but on the low. Hey. Yeah. But huh? let me say this, in all of this pontificating, about what the fuck people with power yes. is doing. Yes. Niggas talking shit about each other. Yes. <laughs> See, to me, that the, the gravity of the moment illuminate, illuminates the gravity of the problem with us. True indeed. Jeff has been saying this for years. We need to do this. We need to come together. We need to do that. I used to call Jeff the idea man. I throw the problem at the nigga, and then he'll come up with an idea right on the spot. I'll try to chop it down. He'll come up. He'll he'll keep morphing and adjusting his shit. Coming up, and again, that's what we should be doing. We should be think tanking with each other. We should be finding out what are your resources. What are your resources? What are my resources? Let's come together. You understand? No, we want to talk shit about Jeff. Look at Jeff's motherfucking curtains. <laughs> Somebody. Why? <laughs> Why this nigga doing a podcast? You got velour, velour curtains. You know what I'm saying? With blueberry curtains. What is that about? <laughs> he said with blueberry <laughs> Like, niggas always want to take the low road, right? I'm saying. You see that little boy right there? <laughs> blueberry curtains. Let me tell you something. That little boy grew up on the south side of Chicago. With hair like black cotton candy. Yeah. <laughs> hey. yeah, that's what it is. Them little niggas was letting me have it. That little dude right there had to learn how to fight. Yeah. Had to had to had to deal with being able to do the whole science project by himself. So the the little goddamn thugs they put him on the science project with made him do the science project by himself and they all got A's. All of that shit. Yeah. So I have been dealing with and swimming upstream of niggas in my thinking ever since I figured out that we was not supposed to be living in here sharp as hell with the lights out. Something's wrong with you niggas. <laughs> right, right. Come on, Jeff. Okay. Hey, I let me... knew that at 10 years old that I do not think like these niggas are right now. <laughs> Yeah, right there. That nigga right there was going to roach out some cereal and eat it with water for dinner with his job. Come on. Yeah. What? So, okay. Let's... 
Jeff, watch <laughs> this. This is why me and Bobby fuck with each other. Bobby is the most on point motherfucker I've ever met. This is what I mean by that. Bobby is on task. Yeah. What the fuck are we doing? Yeah. That's right. Bobby is that kind of man. What the yeah. fuck is the aim? Yeah. What is the goal? How do we get this? Yeah, so practical information. You did some shit and it worked? Okay, show me how to do that yeah. shit and then I'm gonna put it to work. That's why I fuck with Bobby. Practical. He he he, <laughs> he see it, he go, oh, this how this go? All right. I, I know some people that I can plop into this shit right here mm -hmm. and then we can get some shit moving. Yeah. Uncle Bobby is a farmer. He's a farmer of men, yeah. farmer, farmer of men. ideas. Yeah. yeah. Uncle nah. Bobby <laughs> likes to look up. See, here's, uh, and I'm going I'm to I'm tag your hand there, brother. So Uncle Bobby is metaphysically this dude. I'm going to talk about you like you ain't here, Uncle Bobby. <laughs> a farmer, when he rolls, uh, 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 tills a row, or plants corn or harvests, he gets up when the rooster get up, yeah. and he work till the sun is on the other side of the sky, and he can turn around and see exactly what it is he did. That is what a farmer expects to do and to have done around him. Uncle Bobby is a metaphysical farmer. All you niggas can talk on the porch, but when we work, <coughs> when I work, I'm going to start here when the rooster get up. And when the sun go down, I'm going to be over there. When I turn around, I need to see what the hell it is I did. What I done laid down, right. That's that grown man shit. Yeah, man. That's why I always have him on the show. Because he got wisdom to give to us. Bobby, I'm going to ask you this, man. Because as, as we speak right now live, the United Nation, Nations uh, Security Council holds a meeting to discuss the situation in the <coughs> Ukraine. And the reason why this is such a serious meeting that's being held by the United Nations is because, again, Russia, Putin, has raised the flag on the intensity of this thing by saying, my nuclear weapons are on high alert. Mm -hmm. Now, we understand this about Russia. They got, what, 500 submarines? Or they got submarines that have over 500 nuclear we weapons. Bobby... In light of the fact that black people don't have no power or no wealth, and, in, and facing this kind of impending doom, give us three things black people can do today that can fortify our neighborhoods in the event of something that happens. Well, the first thing we would have to do is look at food resources, because if there's a nuclear war, none, none of us sitting at this table are That here, ground fucked up, it's all. Can, can speculate about it. You know, we, we're done. Right. All right. We're done as we know it, unless there's, again, a, a galactic force out there that you all guys are talking about that I'm rooting for 24-7. But in the event that there's not a nuclear holocaust, we have to concentrate on taking advantage of the chaos. Everybody is losing sleep right now because they're bombarding us with all of these different forms of fear. Yeah. We were already overwhelmed right. with, with these tactics, all right? Whether you can vote or not is up in the air. Whether you have any freedoms left is up in the air. Your health is already bad. We diabetic, have blood pressure, you name it. We're already facing sure. several forms of getting out of here death-wise. So the first thing that we have to do is capitalize on the chaos because within our within our reach, some of us absolutely are capitalize on the chaos. See, some of us are, are relentless about aligning the few of us that's got something to bring to the table that can affect the kind of change in our daily lives. Mm -hmm. That, given the fact that there is a world left to live in, we're going to be able to use food as equity. Order out of chaos. And that's big, man. <clears throat> Here's the thing. Bobby just touched. Man, let me just say this. We got to leave white daddy alone. The, the, the <laughs> Looking for whites and this system to provide for us has to end at some point. At some point, we just got to say, if we're going to do business with y'all, we're going to do business with y'all like a country would. Mm. Not like this job going to save my life. Mm. 
Not or like this... my son washes my car. Mm. Yeah, it can't. Ha we can't have that kind of relationship. Right. Mm -hmm. We got to have a relationship where we operate as a collective. And so what if we got less than they have right now? If mm -hmm. the less that we have as a collective makes us stronger as a collective and weaker as disaggregate, then we got to say we can't be disaggregate no more. We got to come together as okay. a collective right. and be able to <clears throat> throw this little bit we got into something substantial. Jeff? Uh, let me, let me, uh, if, if I may, uh, as, a, as, is anybody, can anybody see me playing the bongos on these niggas? I do here? see Y'all can't see yeah. me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what? what is he doing? Oh, no. Uh, let's all agree that we are on the same team. Let's all agree that the creator didn't bring us this far with this knowledge, with what's about to happen right now, just to have us fucking wiped off the face of the earth Come with on, the man. rest of these fucking idiots, on, which I, I, am, I am of the belief that whatever happens, these heads will crawl from the wreckage. Uh, I, don't, I think we're up against a little bit, it, it's a little bit further down the road than that brother's up. What I'm seeing is this, is remember uh, when the when Puffy is being chased by the same militia man that a homeless man in, a homeless man when Puffy and a homeless man are being chased by the same white supremacist? Yeah. Okay. Well, very soon that same white supremacist will be. This is who we are surrounded by, brother. Mm -hmm. This is why a contingent of us here in America. Side with Russia because Russia is white. So it is us versus the police versus the Aryan Brotherhood versus uh, uh, the, Mex the, uh, uh, the Mexicans who do not align with us mm -hmm. versus the court system that does not align with us uh, versus municipalities that do not align with us. They are going to surround us. And when they squeeze, the juice from that squeeze will be the blood of the ignorant in the street. That's going to happen. This will be about <laughs> what is left. This will be about the precious few of us that are left. And we will be the 300, bruh. That's where we're going to be. Hey, listen, nigga. This We've is... already taken the walk from, from Greece, bro. We out there. <laughs> hey, you know what that was, Jeff? That was Morpheus talking to Zion. <laughs> people! Hear me! Hear me, people! We are still here! We didn't learn anything from the movie 300. No. Oh, nigga, that's what he's up to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm saying kill monger. Because I believe something that you do not. <laughs> no. If we, to, if we are to be the 300 and we are the leaders of the council of 300, <laughs> the number one thing we be, ought to be on the lookout for is Ephialtes. Hmm? Who? Hmm? Who is Ephialtes among us? Okay, break Who down the acronym. Yeah. Shit. Ephialtes was the name of the deformed dude that gave up. Oh, him. The Knights. <clears throat> yeah. Who uh -huh. among us? Yeah. <laughs> who among us is Ephialtes? Who is it that Uncle Bobby call on and they don't answer? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Who is it? Because there's many ways to be that. Who is it that walks away from this conversation and leaves it at this conversation and does not start right where they are? Right. Well, let's deal with it. You just broke down something, and, and then I'm going to throw it to Bobby. Let's let's take this right here. Somebody in the chat room says something very powerful here. They're talking about we're not a color, we're not this, we're not a crayon. And I get it for legal purposes or whatever, but for conversational purposes, that's not, it, it don't really work. 
if if we're doing it for legal purposes, right, and, and you're trying to become sovereign, then it makes sense to you know say, oh no, I'm not a crayon. You can't designate me as a color. See, that makes sense in a basic legal movement. But nigga, if you talking to motherfuckers who don't know what the fuck that is, you use their language so you can connect to them because they will understand. Oftentimes, motherfuckers will learn a kernel of something, and in the moment they understand a kernel of something, these niggas done turned into a goddamn preacher and teacher <coughs> of it. No, you're not a teacher of that shit yet. What you gotta do, this month, I know this nigga personally, he got 30, 30 plus years <laughs> of studying. I, I, I rarely run into niggas with 30 years of knowledge on anything. So again, if we having a basic conversation and you trying to speak to people and you, you've heard it before, you speak to them at their level, right? And then you mm. gradually ratchet them up. You understand? You just don't start off on some shit that they don't understand and then try to motherfucking demean them for not understanding. You gotta speak their language first. I'm just saying, we pick the wrong fucking battles. If you listening to Jeff Brown or you listening to Bobby speak or Kevin speak, and they dropping some information and a nigga come in and go, no, we Israelites. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, we Israelites too, nigga. Right, how, how is that practical? What the, the fuck does that got to do with what we're talking about? Use, how can we use yeah, being yeah, Israelites yeah. today? You, we, we are Israelites. We Hebrews. We all of these motherfuckers. We everything. I, I, I'm 100% on board. But sometimes the desire to derail the purpose of the di discussion <laughs> to just to have that piece. Right. Okay, now we agree we that. <laughs> Can we get back to what the fuck we were talking about right. first? Bobby, then Jeff. Within the next 30 days, um, this discussion will take a shape and a form because Zoe has allowed me to grow mm -hmm. and, 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 and be able to share with him some things. So we're gonna create some modules that people will be able to, the ones that understand how serious it is, and here's what's working in our favor. From now to the day that y'all get the information that we are packaging up for distribution, you will go to the grocery store, find less and less of the food that's already dead and killing you anyway. It's gonna be less of it, and it's gonna cost a fortune. Zoe told me he went to uh, Whole Foods the other day to yeah. get some, uh, uh, to re-up on my motherfucking smoothie shit right. that I'm using to bust this nigga's ass on the basketball court. I ain't been taking light on this nigga. This but tell him, tell him what, what you this found. one of the motherfucking eternals right here, nigga. What I gotta you? tell you, like, <laughs> <laughs> like, what did you discover what about that eternals? avocado piece? The avocado, it was a little container, the avocado shit that I was trying to get, the motherfucking guacamole, the bitch was $11, $12, $11.99. Uh, so, Whole Foods? Damn. Now, yeah. Whole Foods, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you want to play a Del Rey, nigga? Trust what? me. Wait a minute, what kind of hot avocado? The, go, the guacamole hookup. Bro. Okay, and, and, okay, go ahead. No, go ahead. Well, go ahead. Well, I want you to save your thought because you had something you had to give us well, right after okay, the I need another minute just to close it out. The thing is this, whether people want to or not, they're going to be faced with an ever-shrinking supply of any kind of food. Any, any kind. Any kind. All right. Because the little shriveled up raisins, you all that shit the truckers, goes. You mentioned uh, the warehouses and all of those. The, the, the ports are full. The system has broken down. The only people that are going to survive and thrive, given that there is a world left, that's mm -hmm. the one big question mark, yeah. if they're going to go that nuclear way or not. If they don't, don't get caught with your draw down. Well, a lot of niggas, that's a new business. The draws is going to be down. Listen, man. It's going to be grannies on one old more fan, time. OnlyFans. The labor market has shrunk in this way. So many people are unemployable. The only thing left to do in terms of generating revenue is going to require hands-on. Hands-on. But you know, they, they do this all the time, the Crimea crisis. They always do some world... The world is about to end on somebody about to nuke off. But what if it don't end? I, I, we have to think about if right. it doesn't I'm, end. I'm, 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 I, I am saying, I know it's not. <laughs> I know it's not. This right. is theater so that they do, that they replay over and over and over we again. We can't even you know, waste another minute on because the people who survive and thrive are going to capitalize on the chaos. Jeff Brown. 
Okay, uh, I'm gonna I'm try to work backwards to the other thing I was thinking about, but I'm high and we've been doing a lot of talking <laughs> and my brain moves really, Wait a minute. really fast. Yeah, well, Jeff, that's, that's gone. You can't ever say, <laughs> no one does a lot of talking. No, you no. You are the most no. talking okay. motherfucker there Let is. Let me rephrase. <laughs> Let me rephrase. Okay. A lot of ideas, a lot of idea bombs have went off in my head while you <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Stop smacking me with your so finger. So I'm going to try to make my way back through this minefield backwards All to right, the let's one go. that just went off with what Uncle Bobby was talking about. I'm a little confused, Brother Zoe. I thought I heard Uncle Bobby say, that Adonija got an avocado tree in his backyard. Yes, but he and just then, said that. He just said and it. Then, <laughs> he didn't say and, it last week. Okay, and then I heard that you went into Whole Foods to try to get some type of processed guacamole. <laughs> I see what you're doing there, yeah. Jeff. I see what you're doing. I need to, you need to clear that up for me, brother. Well, well, let me clear it up. I cleared up. I saw the motherfucking The tree is budding as we speak. Huh? Was it organic? All right. There are no. so many buds on that tree right now that the avocados are not, they're not ready yet. Not Otherwise, ready. I'd have brought in some avocados. See? Okay. okay. All right. But wait. Right. 30 and then, days, let's take, we're going to have avocados. Let's take and wait. Hey, 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 and here's, Jeff, let's, here's, yes. here's my response to that. Yes. I looked at that avocado. That uh, guacamole, and I looked at that, that price. <laughs> <laughs> 11.99. I set that motherfucker yeah. right back in that. That's right. Yeah. I submit to you this. <laughs> Keep it pushing. That's right. Yeah. Keep I it pushing. I submit to you this. That you could get one avocado organic, one tomato organic, mm -hmm. one long onion organic, some organic grapeseed oil, Organic cilantro, organic lemon, and organic lime for less than a quarter of what that cost you for that package that was processed by whoever the fuck knows. Hold on, well, hold on for one it second. It didn't Jeff. cost me You're talking nothing. Because he didn't buy it. Because I didn't buy it. <laughs> what, what is organic? Hold on. Okay, okay. What, hold is on. Organic? Huh? what is organic? What is organic? What do you mean, what is organic? What is it? Of course, it's well, a damn label that they move from the regular stock from one place to, to another. the shit that they done triple the price on. That's, That's just like believing the news, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> they got well, an no, organic no sticker. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah. That's not I true, though. Or, it no, it's not regular. It's not no, true. It's not no, USD for for you to get an USDA organic for, for you to for you to get that. No, it's not. No, you have to go through a rig You have to go through a rigorous fucking shit, and you have and your shit has to be ninety five percent organic in order for you to get no, that. No, that's not true. Is that it right is now? true. What you talking about? I had to, I had hey, to do this for nutrition. I had to study this for nutrition. Oh, look. <laughs> I had to go through that whole test hey, with the hey, nutrition hey, and shit. Look at this shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's FDA. Yeah. Ain't, ain't that what we talking about? The FDA. No, USDA so my shit organic. Ain't, my USDA, shit ain't organic. No, USDA organic. Okay. <laughs> Here's my point. Here's my point. I no, made this point the last language. time Brother Reese was here. I understand what you're talking about. Bobby. We need to get as close to, yes. to one process as possible with our right. food, yeah. right. and that process needs to be yours. Yeah. When I make beans, I soak them overnight. I then get up. And put a little baking soda in them, and set them on with spices uh, to hard boil for an hour. Pull that down to low and let them boil for uh, three hours. And I have processed those. Wait, beans. hold on, I didn't hold put on, them in Jeff. The can. I got a question, and so does Sarah. <laughs> Are they good? Because <laughs> <laughs> you go through your process, that means, listen, Jeff, let, let me tell you something. Let me tell you a story. I went to visit Jeff at his house. We had a meeting. The motherfucking dog sounded like a goddamn old ass refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker, Jeff, offered me a sandwich. He said, man, I got a sandwich for you. I said, yeah, man, let me have this sandwich. All right. All, right. <laughs> All I got to say is, have you ever... Been running as a kid and fell, it tripped and fell face forward and got a mouthful of motherfucking grass and dirt. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. That's what that motherfucking sandwich tastes like, man. <laughs> hey, this motherfucker brought out a lawn sandwich. <laughs> 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 
a lawn sandwich. A lawn sandwich. I'm not going to defend. I'm not going to defend my abilities. I'm not going to defend my abilities. You probably have some kids. grass and soil and bread. I am the shittiest plant-based cook on the West Coast. Oh my God! I will take you to plenty more uh, cooks who are better than me with worse ingredients. That's what you need. Man, <laughs> that look, dude, you plant-based food be nasty as shit. Bullshit at this you time. You deserve whatever the fuck them people that Kaiser tell me. Hey, but let me tell you something, Jeff. Bobby Glanton put me on to some shit. Oh, he lived? Hey, he been, he know? No, he don't know, but he lives out there. Yeah, he live out there, he but he don't know. He don't know. Bobby Glanton put me on to his secret weapon. Now, I got the vibranium. I'm gonna fuck Bobby <laughs> up, boy. <laughs> yeah, he, he needs to know. So, for the last month, I've been detoxing. I lost 20 pounds, Excellent. Jeff. Excellent. And Excellent. it's a brother out in, in our hood, Dr. Russell. Harrison, www.russellherbals.com. He, he lives on Lake by Elliot. Yep. What? Yeah. Yes. He lives right there on Lake on, by Elliot. Jeff I Brown. Said, I, I, I give right you down the street from DL's Barbershop. Yeah. yeah. Right up, up the uh, street. Uh, just a, a, a block yeah, from there. A block yeah, up. Here. <laughs> and let me tell you, hey Jeff, I walked out of that motherfucker with a box. Oh. When I tell you a box, I could have put all that shit in this bag. Mm -hmm. Thanks to Corey Holcomb. Corey Holcomb looked out. I walked in, Corey Holcomb was in there when I got in there. <laughs> Wait, Corey Holcomb? Yeah. The Corey up Holcomb. Huh? He hooked him up? Yeah. He hooked us both up. We both was up. me and Corey was sitting in there together like, <laughs> <laughs> like two two knucklehead niggas at detention. We were sitting in that motherfucker like this. Yeah. <laughs> but when I walked out of there, Jeff, I can't tell you some of the shit the motherfucker gave me. Mm. Some shit called Super Bowl Pocket. Mm. Uh, what is the other shit? Uh, super Colon Cleanse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeff, I did this shit for thirty. Days, Jeff, and I and lost. The ugliest shit in the world was coming out of you. <laughs> when I tell you, Jeff, it was like that little motherfucker from from uh, uh well, Total Recall, that nigga that lived under the bed. Yeah, uh, Kawato, Quay, Kawato, Quay came out, nigga. That, the shit was horrible. <laughs> And I'm telling you, I called Bobby. Bobby said, how you doing, man? I called Bobby and said, Bobby, I had the shit at 3 in the morning. Nigga, I'm not doing well. <laughs> why Why does the shit go off at 3 in the morning, like That's an alarm? Bad. Get the fuck up and get to the back. It was terrible, Jeff. Mm. But I feel great. Like I said, I lost 20 pounds. Got my energy. Everything is good, man. But I've been listening to you, Jeff. You think nobody listens to you, buddy. But well, I've, I, I, I've been listening what, to you, Jeff. I, I've just I been fucking ridiculing you because you come across as a I fucking snob. You're I'm you're a health I'm snob. I'm, a, I'm talking about the, the water. The water level, the water level has That's risen funny. to the point to where we float on the top of it <laughs> because of what we have been given. This shit that brings us all together is about something the creator gave to us that he did not give to, to right. other people. Right, right. So it was not you that raised your frequency, Zoe Williams. It was your frequency that raised you. Oh. Hey, listen here, mm -hmm. profundity. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Effulgence and mm -hmm. Profundity, the light of the <laughs> world. Profundity. Listen, <laughs> let me tell y'all something. Yeah. I be doing shit in secret. Oh. Well, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> now, as I say that. Hey. Yeah, go and have you a molecular cookie. <laughs> <laughs> let me toss down some sugar. <laughs> a little sugar on it. Hey, I can afford to now, nigga. Put right. a little sugar yeah, on it. <laughs> <laughs> you got a little in the back, bro. Now me, I uh, I go with another. I got another cat that's a a, a black herb, herbalist. Uh, to who he? Go, uh, he goes by the name of Willie Lynch Jr. Oh, on, Willie Lynch uh, Jr. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. that's my man, bro. Yeah. Um, see, uh, Conscious Christmas. Um, good Lord. Blue Vervain. Uh, Elderberry. All these things, we have to make rituals. Almost like when you get past a certain age, if you're going to stay healthy, working out has to become one of your hobbies. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't give a fuck how you do it. It could be bike riding. Uh, bass, you know, this Zoe has chosen serious. to uh, whoop up on the elderly. No, no, hold up, up right there, Jimmy. Uh, 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 <laughs> whoop up on the elderly. Nah, it ain't going to be that kind of party. See, Bobby think he can play. I'm going to tell you right now, Bobby is a testament to melanin. Because there are other 60-something, 60-something-year-old white people running around here 32 seconds from death. This right. Two right seconds from death. Right. This is a different kind of human. See, yeah. Monk right. shocked me how spry he was. I watched a nigga smoke eight packs of cigars or a cigarette every motherfucking day. Mm -hmm. He got on that court and I said, nigga, I'm the one out of breath. Yeah, just right. And he be taking that king, that king in the water. That king in. I said, what the fuck happened? I, I know this nigga gonna be tired. No, he wasn't. <laughs> Uncle Bobby, out of curiosity, sir, if I if we may, are you if I may ask, are you single? Yeah. Okay. What does it look like for a, a, a sixty plus in shape, attractive black man? Is it a smart? Is it the smorgasbord board I think of, or is it rotten fruit out there? Good question. And when that motherfucker put on that double fruit. breast suit, that nigga come in there like it's more right <laughs> true. But what's what's interesting about that question is um, it's tough, really, man, to answer that question without getting right to it. And that is <laughs> the availability of women is not the issue. <laughs> it's where they fit into the scheme of things because so many women right now. Uh, some bullshit. Some bullshit. Some bullshit. Well, this is what Bobby <laughs> saying. I'm gonna say what Bobby said. See, Bobby so fucking insane. up right now. This no, is what he's saying. This is what Bobby is saying to you right now, Jeff. He's saying, "Don't put me out there about my business." Right, nigga. <laughs> 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 what you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask me about my dating situation, nigga. Shit, nigga, I ain't oh, supposed to be talking yeah, about. You out don't here. know how many people that watch this guy. All the parts are still working. Is a meat eater problem. If Ooh. you don't if, if, I don't eat if meat. you have erectile dysfunction, I don't eat meat. It, it, that's it, brother. Uh uh if you if, if you stop eat you want your dick back, stop eating meat. If you don't, have another burger. A little uh, more let me tell you something, Jeff. Let me tell you something. That's, that's, I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna end mine. Yeah, I've right. always burger, been burger, burger, burger ain't got shit to do with your damn heart. I've always been <laughs> I've been an advocate of motherfucking delicious, the juicy, yeah, that's cheese, right. pickling <laughs> hamburger. <laughs> I ain't gonna let you ever right. come through this motherfucker uh -oh. right here and besmirch <laughs> the good man with some delicious motherfucking hamburgers. Now. Tur turkey burgers. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey. Last question for Uncle Bobby. <laughs> Uncle Bobby. Well, here lies. His uh, his pride and joy. That's what we're gonna put on his tombstone if he keep eating them burgers. Bobby, I ain't had no meat mm -hmm. except for salmon uh, for the last month. Delicious meat that swims, nigga. Mm. And guess what? It's delicious meat. Yes, it is. <laughs> salmon is great, <laughs> nigga. And it has vitamin D for oh, niggas for oh, niggas, so, oh, so they should eat salmon. Oh, <laughs> Have you seen? I, I ran across something that broke my heart accidentally. I was talking to some women around 50 plus and came upon the knowledge that none of them had the intention of being Big Mom. None, none. Hell no. Not at all. Big Mama's like job was too hard. Mama, yeah. Once it was left vacant, nobody following it <laughs> even wants that seat. Mm -mm. No. What sent you to that? What? Nothing. <laughs> Big Mama whooped his ass. <laughs> you want to see another one of Big Mama running around know, this motherfucker? The hottest property in the female market right now is the middle-aged woman that has taken care of herself. Mm. Mm. Because she's at a point where she's through with the nonsense, and if you're about it, about it, you're not going to have the problems with her that you thought you were <coughs> going to have because she's past that stage of trying to deny 
that she can just have her way and, and be about just her. And with the younger girls, you can get that energy that you're looking for, but then how you gonna put up with the, the rest of that? Bullshit. Okay, because the music gonna be a problem, number one. What? Right. Yeah, bro. Come on, brother. Yeah. I can't, I, I, I don't see how we gonna get past you. all of that, uh, bitch, you better get my money. Yeah. I ain't gonna, man, that's gonna right. make me wanna leave that the house it. right away, you know, so we gotta get the music working. You better put on some Bobby Blue Blast. <laughs> you know, I say this. We gonna turn this. off the lights and light the <laughs> <laughs> In the gray. Come here, okay. woman. <laughs> Come here, woman. <laughs> Turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs> Turn it off. <laughs> Say it again, Jeff. Say it again. I tried to date a woman that was 27 when I was 44. And it was, everything else was great. I mean, she had her mind on straight. She was a good girl. But that fucking me. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if you can't finish this once, <laughs> There was a boy and, and girl. Nigga, I can't get through Woo. that song in my car. As soon as that shit come on, I go, God damn, I'm a wreck listening to this <laughs> old shit. If Listen. If say back, the girl so, said, I love you so. We got a whole bunch of problems. Boy, okay. see, but see, Jeff, <laughs> these are great records. I, I'm with you, Jeff. That's, that's, that's a good way to look at it, but you're Taurus. And mm -hmm. Taurus has a certain bent mm -hmm. towards music. Bobby is Cancer. Bobby has a certain oh, yeah. bent towards mm -hmm. music. Nigga, I'm really? Miles Davis. Let that young girl come in here and play some new music, <laughs> and I'm gonna say, you know, this is some cool shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is really nice shit, baby. Maybe, like, right. Introduce me to these motherfuckers. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna do just like Miles. I'm gonna say, you know, your shit is really cool. You know, it's really hot. You know? But Check this out. I can play your shit better than you. And you can't play my shit at all. Let me at revolutionize all. your shit. See, <laughs> that's what Miles does. He listens to the youngins with their new music. You niggas is caught in the past with that old shit. Once there was a <laughs> you can get that nigga out of there. Once there was a I want you to oh, stay nigga. in my corner. <laughs> Go ahead, nigga. Stay in my corner. <laughs> I don't need you <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Just Jeff. You got the final say, word. <laughs> uh, uh, here's something else, gentlemen, that, that is some horrible, horrible news uh, for delusional uh, black women. We really need to get on this page because this is a cancer. This is something that's fucking this up. Uh, I say this sentence every time I hear something from a delusional black female. Oh, yeah? Well, there's two million more of you. Mm. That's it. That's all I gotta say. All right. It's, 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 it, if I keep saying that, eventually she starts to foam at the mouth. Mm. <laughs> what? My Here we point go. Is this. Here we go. Buddy. In the future, if you want a black man to your to yourself, you are deluded. You're going to have to share him just because of the mathematics. Mm. How do we start to groom our people back into the village and get them away from the family? Mm -hmm. Mm, hey, Jeff Brown. Great question. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the So What Morning Show. I just want to thank my brother no, Jeff Brown. Huh? He's like, answer my question. It's yeah. over? Me, yeah, Jeff. It's 1.30, oh, sir. Is it, you should have came in earlier, Jeff. That question was posed to the rest of you niggas who will be watching the replay of this Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Oh, we shit. appreciate everybody for tuning in. We got over a thousand motherfuckers in the chat room live. Everybody go buy the Shrouded Lighthouse book. Everybody go follow Jeff on his fucking YouTube channel. There's no fucking reason for him to have 50 and 30 motherfuckers watching his shit live. He should have thousands of motherfuckers of course. watching. Y'all should support that right, right now. Hey, Jeff, I'm sorry. Yes, sir. It's hey, what I you do, man. Hey, Jeff, you're performing somewhere uh, soon, right? Oh, yes, this Thursday. I will be at uh, uh, Roz Washington's thing. She has right there on Sunset and Gower. It's upstairs uh, uh, at the hotel. What the fuck? Roz Washington, look up Roz Washington. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be bugging around this Thursday. Yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all come out. We need to holler. About Could that. it be uh, I'm falling in love? I'm legitimately, I'm doing a 501c3. I'm starting it. 
It is known as the first church of holy shit. Uh -oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, it is my first hour every Sunday at noon on either YouTube, Twitter, or Facebook. You can catch it. And then the next hour is giraffe balls. Yeah. Uh, next yeah. Sunday, uh, uh, just confirm my guest, bro man from the fifth floor. Bro man. Yeah. 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 Y'all should support Jeff, man. So you say Sunset and Guy on Thursday night. Yes, sir. Okay. With him, God. Like, I see what I see what Bobby do. <laughs> I see, is that nigga talking? Jump in right now. <laughs> <laughs> he says that nigga talking. Jump in right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> like, like double dutch, nigga. Anyway, like I'm double dutch. I'm just, I'm just holding my I'm holding my baby brother to his commitment. That's funny. His is. house. Is my house. That's what it, it ain't no lie though. Mama <laughs> <laughs> Bobby told me that live on there. Hey nigga, bitch, I don't have to call you and let you know you uh, I'm coming. <laughs> nigga, this is my house too, nigga. You know <laughs> right, nigga. <laughs> I'm gonna show up, nigga. I said, all right. Hey, listen, we still got over 900 people in here, but we have mm -hmm. less than 900 likes. Can everybody hit the Bam. like button That's all it on takes. the way Bam. out? Yeah. Please support the Shrouded Lighthouse. Please support all of the Black-owned businesses I put in front of you. Also, the final thing that I'm going to promote is at some point I'm going to have some airtime to sell to black owned businesses on KBLA. Come on. Mm. If you're serious about promoting your business, at some point in the very, very near future, black owned businesses that want access to a large audience. Email me at VOR106 <laughs> at gmail.com. That's all I can say. If you're serious about promoting your business, VOR106 at gmail.com. That's all I can say. KBLA, I, I'm at some point really soon in the near future, <laughs> I'm going to have some airtime to sell. I'm just letting you know right now. Please continue to support all of the brands. Ramomar, Zmos, Hurricane Report, Kev. <laughs> Uh, we juice. Kev, what's your website again? Realnuggets.com or knowyourrightsfoundation.org. Right. Sure. And, and then we wejuice.com. TTT. <laughs> no, Bobby <laughs> at realmendontplay.com. And buy my man's music. Dom, tell him where to go, man. Uh, just go to iTunes and pick up some Jack Herrera or some Superstar. But Jack do what Uncle Bobby said and capitalize off chaos. How about that? Send um, uh, what, diabetic Snickers. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, no diabetic Snickers. <laughs> 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 Right now, send down a diabetic Snickers or something. <laughs> we love Dom, man. <laughs> Jeff, you got anything uh, else you want to say? <laughs> yes. During a riot, no one benefits like the rats. Wow. Be the rats. Be the rats. Scurry, be the rats. scurry and start doing shit while the chaos the is going. You when fucking do your shit. While these bricks, at, when this shit blows up, as the bricks fall from the sky, make your house, niggas, make your house. Mm. I'm going to tell you right now, this nigga could be the Riddler in the new <laughs> <laughs> He said he could be the new Riddler. <laughs> this motherfucker the Riddler. Like <laughs> if your shoe touch the ground, <laughs> you are blessed by the sky. Understand that now. See the dichotomy? The ground and the sky, nigga, I if see your it. shoe I see it, my nigga. You <laughs> touch the ground. <laughs> you are blessed <laughs> by the sky. Don't that ask why. Fun. Don't ask why. That's some <laughs> All right, y'all. We love y'all. We out, deuces. <laughs> Man, you can't. We can't. Oh yeah, send Sarah some money too. Shit. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Where's Sarah?